Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of the Rodgons. <laughs> We Let's did it. Go. We're back. Oh, it's been. Yes. We you we all left to her get alone. Off of the screen. <laughs> I missed it. I missed oh, it. Good. Woo! <laughs> it's uh. So we've been away uh for for future people who will probably listen to this in chronological order when we're on episode five hundred five million if we ever get that far. Um, basically, uh, we were away for an entire month. So forgive us if uh some things kind of schmoodle on the way we took a break uh, took a break here on june but of course everyone's back we're all here we're all here with you thanks everyone who came back to come visit us even though we're about a month away so thank you all so very much for coming back to another exciting episode of the rock goons the ones mm. that bring you this yeah. show we're gonna go from left to right with the amazing players that bring you the show starting off with minerva it's me. I'm back. I'm here to be your problem problem again. Uh, my name is Minerva, aka Party Demoness. You can find me under that handle on all platforms. Uh, I am an artist and a VTuber and a, a, a problem. And I'm today's problem as well. And uh, you could be a problem too by being here for the live shows. But uh, I play the level five Null Ranger Great Crocus. Sorry, I had a phone call. <laughs> oh, I'm, from I'm, sitting, I'm sitting here like the fuck <laughs> I got really confused on it. It's a number I don't have. So I got Hello? Huh. Don't worry, Soren. It's a, at it's least Min did okay. her job. <laughs> fuck you. Alright, next up we got Cabal. Hi, I'm Cabal. I'm your uh, resident uh, horror host streamer, uh, also a voice actor and artist uh, here on twitch.tv. Um, and I am playing Talim Magic. Uh, what is it? Uh, Talim Shabura, the ghost magus, local Talim. spirit of capitalism. Look, Talim leave me magus. Alone. Yeah, Talim, <laughs> uh, the, the Talim Magus, everybody's favorite archetype. Go play. He it invented right it. Yeah, I invented it. <laughs> no, it's also, his thing. also, um, now able to be a coin based rail cannon. So, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> perfect, perfect. And of course, with our resident little guy, Froggy Luck. Yes, hello. Good time zone, everybody. Hope you had a wonderful week and hope you're having a wonderful weekend so far uh, for our YouTubers and people in the future who are hearing this. That's a crazy cool concept. I hope you're having a wonderful time wherever you are. Uh, I am Froggy Lock. I am a professional artist, live 2D rigger, and also a variety streamer here on Twitch. But you can find me on all sorts of other social media platforms under the same handle. Today, I will be playing Beatles Above. The level five kobold investigator. And of course, next up we have the ever stalwart, the ever artistic oh, ever. <laughs> <laughs> also, Froggy's Canadian. There you go. I, uh, happy 2020! A A A Tim, oh, get oh, your timmies, oh, oh, drink your timmies, go. drink your syrup, get your timmies, pedaboos. Don't do that. Why, why, did, why, why didn't you just start playing Shock Magnioni? Huh? Ah. And next, our resident big guy, <laughs> Hart, <laughs> saw something down. Yeah, hello. My name is Schnalty Schnub, as Cab calls me. Uh, I, uh, you can find me at Salty Job uh, on most platforms. I do funny art, uh, and I play Hart. Um, he's, uh, he's also, as everyone else, level 5. Uh, but the cool thing about him being level 5 is that every level posts a certain point. Hart gets faster because he's a monk. Um, so Hart is at, at this point, Hart's base speed uh, is at the same rate as a running horse. <laughs> My god! What? That's terrifying, crap? actually. I you just want to see Hart approach somebody on all fours. Just yes! rapidly oh approach. Oh my god! So, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> she sent me this video from Filthy Frank, this old Filthy Frank clip, and it's been living in my head rent free ever since she sent it to me. And it's just Filthy Frank going, I summoned the Speed Lord. And then <laughs> this guy appears in a onesie and runs at another naked dude, and the naked dude picks up a garbage can, and just smashes it over his back, and I'm just picturing hard as the Speed Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Hart rapidly approaching somebody doing what is it the Rob Schneider the animal run yes yes, <laughs> ah, yes! <laughs> oh my god <laughs> holy smokes and of course I am your host and game master for the evening I am Zoran the Bear hope everyone's had a lovely break I'm so glad to see everyone again today and of course if you are interested and watching the shows live, we are on twitch.tv forward slash narrative declaration. Of course, you can always watch the videos on youtube.com forward slash narrative declaration and follow updates on Twitter. And of course, we have our own Discord, all narrative declaration or narrative declar on Twitter because we can't put the whole name on Twitter. <laughs> declar. I know it's pretty cool. Declar. Website. Yeah, I had to it's put it that cool way. To be able... it... Yeah, ahead. it's pretty cool to be able to just say Google. Google me. <laughs> yeah, just Google it. <laughs> you know, it helps out, of course, on podcast platforms, all the stuff you prefer podcasts. Listening, and maybe right now, you're listening, maybe you're washing dishes, maybe you're on the road, maybe you're uh, maybe you're driving, maybe you're walking, maybe you maybe, maybe you're... Your maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe you're... Maybe you're... Yeah, maybe you're on the shitter <laughs> right now, just, yeah, just gonna, everything's say, crashing let's just, down. Let's, let's, let's just call it how it is. We know you're sitting on the toilet, all right? Yeah, we know you're Take there. Your time. Don't Look, it's yourself. okay. Enjoy we're here show. for you. Yeah, we're Sorry, here for you. Sorry, I don't know you. why this episode is turning into, like, poop RP, the episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on, on, moving on, moving on, moving yeah, on. Moving on, moving <laughs> on. It's so good to see everyone, but of course, yeah. now it's the challenge around who remembered what happened last time for two hero points. Not it. Um, I, I... I, I got it, but I, I won't I won't get all of the hero points. I meant I want to point something out. Cabal, literally last episode centered around you. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not remember? Ah, he hasn't his done head it. When he was coming down from the comet, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah he yeah. didn't take notes. <laughs> I actually do remember what happened, but I'm also full of chicken tenders, and as I said before, peanut butter shakes, so... Yeah, your ass is ready to fucking launch, so... All right. It was me! I was the right one now. sitting on the toilet the entire time! Okay, okay. Oh who, who else? Who, el who else wants to give me a, a reminder for two hero points? And if not, I could increase my total from three to five. I mean, I could do points. it. I just... Would I be able to share my points with someone? Uh, if if you share the share the work with somebody, if you do one half, someone else does the other. Mm. You, then you'll get one, the other one, get another one. Uh, who wants to share it with me? I'm reading my notes right now, and they're really <laughs> shitty. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know why. Normally I write, like, a paragraph or two paragraphs after a session. These are really uh, garbage. There's even, like, asterisks randomly placed in here, but then I didn't elaborate on what the asterisks mean. <laughs> I'm not getting these points this way. Oh, we Yo. do like we do like it when you write insider jokes for yourself and never like remember what the insider jokes. Are. Uh -huh, future me is gonna find Here. this so funny. Here, let's let's oh, do right. this. You know, Let you know what? All right, fine. Great. Okay. If, if me and Min wanna, Min, do you want yeah. the part where like like the the, the party sign? And I'll take the the, the spirit journey sign. Uh, sure. Ooh, right. yeah. Sure, 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 sure. All right, I got this. <clears throat> Don't forget to mention the mirror. Or the glass. <laughs> Paint of glass. It's the best part. Of course. Of course. <laughs> what, what do you think I am? Someone who doesn't take notes? I, I have a bullet here that just says <laughs> the, ga the glass gang. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> the glass gang. Okay, yep, yeah, I got this. All right. The goons would return home to the Pond's Palaster after somehow succeeding in smuggling Baldrick back in. The streets were surprisingly empty, but the group was preoccupied with conversation to realize right away. Parentheses, it was mostly just Beetle yammering on about things, honestly. The scene would then switch to Talim. Talim would find himself 
back in the deserts of Quan Shir, a place that he had long since journeyed away from uh, in his you know, time as a wandering spirit in the lands, uh, finding himself beaten and battered and remembering the loss recent of a caravan, could look around to see the sand shifting around him, wondering just how he got there, as if something were clawing at the back of his mind, and just out of reach. To interrupt real quick, my lights are flickering. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So as I talked about good old Texas infrastructure, if the stream goes down, it gets cut up. <laughs> hey, hey, you know why? Us? Thanks, Texas. No. <laughs> anyway, continue on. My bad. All right. So back in the land of the living, the trio would notice a series of flashes that would call their attention to the fact that they were absolutely surrounded by Tyrant's Guild members. Uh, after some hurried and panicked thinking and scouting to find a way out of the situation, they find a warehouse door to try and squeeze through, only for the Tyrus Guild to charge and start chasing them. Cue the chase scene, but not before it flashes back to Talim. Talim finding himself, uh, himself a new uh, caravan to travel with, uh, and it seems that there are raiders, or, you know, those who will act as highwaymen in the deserts of Quanshir, surrounding... Uh, surrounding uh, him and his as he tries to find a new place to call home or, you know, on the travels back. Uh, as they draw closer, he alerts those members of the caravan that enemies are approaching, uh, reflecting the rays of the hot and uh, searing Quanshir sun off of his shield, uh, noting that they should prepare themselves. The chase would go back to the trio, and they start to book it, Hart taking the lead to, uh, to head toward a crane not too far in the distance. Gray would point up at a crate it was carrying to, uh, a ma massive box to try and signal Hart to try and knock it down and obstruct the way. Beetle nat 20 while trying to suppress the following force from the guild, and literally shot a dude in the face. It was pretty cool. <laughs> it should be noted that the amount of tokens was not representative of how many dudes were actually trying to chase us. Zorin doesn't have a token problem. <laughs> <laughs> Smiles. <laughs> Beetle would try to shoot down the box and roll a five. Try to hero point it, and then not one. How did this happen? But due to the benevolence of the bear and unknown help, Beetle was given another chance. The unknown help was a vision of Talim. Talim, is... while... <laughs> oh, I was gonna say... <laughs> Go you... ahead. Okay. Um, Talim, while uh, in the deserts of Quan Shir, uh, is on the back of a wagon that is currently being chased by the raiders, negotiations breaking down as they try and uh, take what supplies are being carried on by the caravan. As they uh, pass by some rocks, Talim lashes out with his ass quote to wrap it around some stones to try and pull it down in the path of the raiders, uh, struggling as the wagon veers past it, uh, just barely managing to yank it into their way, but seemingly a bit later than he had hoped. Uh, as he turns back to look at his companions and spur them on, uh, it seems that the goons have gotten themselves into even more trouble. Gray would struggle to run past the crate before it was falling, and rolled. after I rolled a 16 and wasn't sure, I was egged on by Froggy to reroll using a hero point, and got, I got a 15 instead. Froggy would proceed to apologize for encouraging this behavior, but we all know she'll do Why it again. Why are you bullying me into <laughs> Because <laughs> I was watching it literally last night and went, hmm. Hmm. What I'm else will, Froggy? <laughs> I'm sensing some hostility. Okay, please continue <laughs> with less. Hart caught the massive box and directed it towards the guild members by the growing larger and throwing them with a lot of oomph. The goons would then book it until another element would show itself. But not really. An unknown sniper from above. Through the power of chat voting on a poll, he shot Beetle. The kobold takes an awful hit to the side of his arm, and the group was now being hunted. But then, something heinous arrives in the path. Something unavoidably insidious. It's just two dudes carrying a pane of glass. They're just doing their job. Hart screams at the dudes, and they stand still to try and get around him. Uh, suddenly, we're back to Talim. As Talim, seemingly having shifted to another point in time, is back to wandering through the sands of Quanshir. 
is form beaten a little bit worse for the wear. But as he trudges on, he notices a strange mirror-like object. Is well, it's made of crystal, but somehow reflects something deeper, something not of the world that he's currently in, in the middle of the desert. He's not sure if he's just thirsty and it's a mirage before him, or if it's some artifact from another time, from another place, has appeared before him. But drawing on all the reason that he has, he decides to continue on and not try his luck with the strange and seemingly unknowable object that may or may not have been a plant, pane of glass. <laughs> <laughs> so after a lot of fumbling, the, the group gets around the glass and then they're confronted with basically Frogger, basically Frogger. Uh, then they try to get around the Frogger scenario. Uh, great does great. Uh, Heart is basically screaming at traffic. Uh, Beetle falls off at one point and grows winglets and they're really cute. Yeah! Uh, <laughs> uh, and then we end up going around a corner and hopping a fence and then we are surrounded and then the sky opens up Gleam at this point had found his way through the desert of Quan Shir stumbling upon what seemed to be an oasis of other travelers uh, tired and looking for a bit of respite he spends time with them seemingly people that he knew, but he can't quite put his finger on it. And as he walks along with the caravan leader, speaking and talking of their adventures and uh, adventures yet to come, a strange feeling comes over him. He looks at the caravan leader, who looks both at him and past him. And Liam is told that there's still more work to be done. But of course, the caravans never stop. Trade always continues. The coin must flow. But in this case, that's not it. As the caravan leader points behind him, there seems to be a swirling portal at the top of a dune. A portal that Gleam doesn't know where it goes, but it seems ever so familiar. And the caravan tells him, or the caravan leader tells him that it's time. It's time for him to leave this place, leave the past behind, and return to where he should be. Because it needs to be made whole. And as Kaleem looks back one last time at the caravan, he looks forward once again and dives through it. And in that moment, he finds himself hurtling through the skies and down towards a group of individuals that seem to have four, uh, what is it? Three battered fellows on the ropes. <laughs> Talim essentially just crashes down and beats the crap out of everybody. Uh, the rest, <laughs> the rest of the group is eventually taken down. Uh, there's a group hug. Everyone cried. I didn't cry. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, and then a, the sniper comes back shooting beetle again because chat's a cruel God. Uh, and then uh, Talim managed to intervene with the uh, with his magic to repel the bullet, which is really cool. It's really sick. And then after that, everyone decided it was time to get out of there and return to the Elmas. There we go. That's where we are. That's where we are. I That's think where we are. that gives one hero point to each of you. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Ray gets a hero point and Talim gets a hero point. Very, like points. very well done, everyone. So, but of course, we do leave off after that. You guys have been traveling through, uh, through the city of Elset, back into the Pond's Palaster, where you're inside now. And you're heading back to Elma's Tavern, because you do need to report back to the Elmas about a job well done, along with the recipe that Baldrick Weathers gave you. As you're heading back, you have some time to talk with each other as your friend Talim is back. There must be a lot of questions you have to ask him, or maybe nothing. But now I hand the scene to you as you are heading through the city once more. I would like to uh, start it off with, uh, 
Gray has kind of like started hovering a little bit around Talim because she's just worried. She's never had a child come back. So she's just kind of like just a helicopter mom, but not too bad. Just just a little bit. Just a little bit. She's mm. just like making sure he's fine. Talim was just floating along. It seems as, you know, as if he never left. He has one hand uh, tucked behind his back and it a coin or a ghostly coin flipping through his fingers while the other one just rests on the uh the the pommel of his sword uh looking at the rest of the group and uh also seeming to be somewhat in thought heart, heart is showing off his bracelets that he invested money in thinking that <laughs> talim would be very proud of him how is heart showing off the bracelets is her like walking backwards in front of Talim, like waving them in front of Talim's face? Yeah, and he takes them off and he shows them off like, look, 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 I, I spent money on these silk patterns on the inside. Look how much <laughs> money is in these. <laughs> uh, Beetle is also walking with Hart facing Talim. And while Hart is talking about <laughs> his bracelets, Beetle's like, did the old man send you? Did the old man send you to rock? How'd you get in the rock? That was really cool. <laughs> and Talim will like look and he'll kind of like trace a finger along the uh, the silk pattern. So he's like, ah, oh, I recognize this script. It's like, I hope that these will serve us well in our adventures. I think they will fit you quite good. And he'll look down at Beetle and he's like, old man, I'm not quite sure what you speak of in the rock. I saw only the sands. There I was sand there was no sand in the rock unless there was sand in the rock i couldn't get the rock open because there's a rock right on what that moment sand, right on that sand, moment if not a bunch of small rocks dude salim yeah right on that moment as you're here and be able to go on what there's no sand the rock there's no rock or anything you hear there's no more gold Talim. there's no more gold it's like your vision goes ah black black a little bit but you see their tendrils coming into your vision and stuff as beetle kind of like looks oddly different now, if just someone's uh, grabbing you and shaking you, there's no more gold, Talim! No more! There's no more gold! And then, bam, it cuts right back and everyone's back again. But you're starting to notice something, kind of like in your ghostly visage, um, that you see that there's there's trails of something inside. inside. It's, like, it's like looking at Jello in a way and seeing there's a tendril of something in there. Talim, do me a favor. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure this out. We're gonna put yourself at wounded one. Okay. Uh, this is going to be the rotten condition. Uh, oh no. Oh. Or I mean, <laughs> yeah, he said the thing. <laughs> To, to explain what the rotten condition is, uh, your character, in, in terms of feelings, you, you still, for the most part, feel normal, but you under, but you feel that there is something a bit off. You've, you And you begin to see sort of like this black ichor just kind of like, sort of kind of trail inside of your body, basically. Uh, the ones that are more whole, I mean, people can't quite see through, depending on your limits, however you want to show yourself. Um, Basically, you can notice it. If you look close enough, you can see tendrils of this like kind of like black vein stuff kind of going through you. And uh, what the wrong condition does is that it permanently makes you wounded, basically. Okay. You can't, no resting, no medicine that you are aware of, no anything can take this away. For every time you die, uh, you basically gain this condition. So, you're now currently rotten one. And what that means, because you're permanently wounded, every time you go down, instead of just being a dying one, you're at dying two. Okay. Oh. So it becomes easier to die. Uh. All right. On the other hand, though, due to Talim's ghostly nature, it was already harder for him to die. Exactly. Yes. Ah. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so it, it seems like, you know, like, as Talim is, like, looking down at Beetle, and, uh, it seems for a moment that, uh, if, if Beetle is looking up, 
uh, Antelim, like his normally, mm -hmm. you know, like stark, you know, like white, you know, ghostly, almost glowing eyes. It seems like uh, now there's a little bit of something else in them. Now there's, uh, it seems to be, you know, like if somebody had been tired and they had like, you know, uh, you know, like red veins showing in their eyes. There seems to be tendrils of, of blackness within the ghost of oh. days. Oh. <laughs> Beetle is is still blabbering about uh, where did Liam come from? Did, did Lorne send him, you know, down from the sky in a comet? And the longer the Beetle blabs and is gazing up at Talib, uh, the the more his speech kind of trickles off, and then he just kind of falls quiet, and he's just walking backwards, staring. <laughs> and um, he he slowly turns around so he's facing forward again, and, and stops talking to him. <laughs> like kind of tilts his head to the side, and he's like, strange. It's like, <laughs> and you know, look around. It's like, the beetle uh, exhaust himself. I you know while uh. I was he did grow two new appendages. Yeah. Oh I'm yeah! I, I got a hat. And Beetle points at his his busted ass, popped open shirt, and his little winglets, and he gives them little flaps. And he sounds like awkward, like nervous, like he's kind of almost worried that he's angered something into Talim or done something to cause the weird thing that's going on with Talim's face. Um. So he's, he's he has like this kind of almost defensive like ha hey, yeah <laughs> yeah that's pretty cool <laughs> nervous did that did that hurt when it happened um you know I, if it did I don't remember the adrenaline was kind of really flowing oh, really pumping shock. <laughs> yeah I understand Dad. I think they suit you Thanks. they're very cute I wonder they're very if I can cute. fly with them we should climb when we get back to the elbows we should climb up onto the roof. And Hart, you should throw me off. We should it's, not do that. We should do that. <laughs> but perhaps something that is less vertical, you know. Let us start with maybe a few boxes, perhaps a mattress oh. beneath. Okay. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Just like that. And then the roof. No, no, that's a big jump. No, <sighs> no. Just more boxes. I want to we'll find a big clump of city smog and smoke and I want to fly right through it but like this and then beetle makes a starfish shape and I want to like you know cookie cutters I want to do that but with the smog you're gonna fall into the pit if you do that stop it <laughs> and this is how we lose beetle <laughs> can't believe beetle wound up getting sponsored through a, through a, a, tra a tragic skydiving accident. <laughs> I had to cut your gem. You're just a perfect suicidal person we need. Oh, no. We're doing a circus recently. We're looking for somebody who has oh. no sense of self-preservation to do this job. <laughs> Hart holds out the hand for Beetle in case he wants a ride. Oh, Beetle takes it and climbs up on the Hart's shoulder. Hart raises him up and whispers to Beetle, and he goes, I believe in you. You're like a little dragon. <gasps> yeah, a little dragon. Or a butterfly. Yeah, whatever Ooh. that is. <laughs> I can hear you two. <laughs> I may be old, but my ears still work. He, he looks don't do anything terrified. Stupid. Don't do anything stupid. No, we just I got won't. back to Leem. I am. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Beetle isn't stupid, he's clever. I'm clever, guy! Clever people can still do dumb things. <laughs> what? <laughs> but to leave, uh, actually, he winds up looking over at Greg. He's like, so how long was I gone? Like, what's... Well... Now, what is, obviously, something has happened. I would not have come back to the Tyrant's Guild surrounded all, surrounding all of you if or not been something. Well, well, and he looks at he looks so, at Beetle and Hart. When I, we I what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> when we crawled out of the ruins, something happened. It had been over a week. Something happened. We don't even, we were down there for what? A few hours. We spent mm -hmm. about 10 minutes 
in there after you were uh turned gone. into a rock yeah gone. yeah i'm so happy that you're back though so happy yeah i'm really glad that lord got you out of that rock you but were in a rock it's yeah speaking of a rock but i'm your quite... essence seemed to have been sucked into a gem and we didn't know if you were going to come back or not. I Maybe mean, you saw sand in there because it was like you were asleep. You were having a little dream. I think it was more than just a dream. The nature of the spirit, the nature of a spirit is oftentimes we are tied to the world because of something, something that connects us beyond even death. In my case, and he like uh, pulls the hand out from behind his back and he flips the spectral coin to it. It's money. As long as coin flows, I persist. Well, I you'll be glad to know. Too much. You'll be glad to know for that that coin flow. Um, we managed to smuggle someone in. Uh, got some money for it, and uh, smuggling. We're, we're tired. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Because, we did you it. Know, honor we wanted to honor you ah. so we did it we did smuggling we i can say for you. that i have never been more proud yes go ahead heart you can cry it's okay <laughs> man there's just that like kind of little like like <laughs> You know, just doing the yeah. <laughs> mouth sucking. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Chris is, like, is gonna pat pat hard on the back, just like it's okay. You can cry. They're there. <laughs> it's not much, and it's not honest work, but at least it pays. Yeah. Like criminals. Yeah. <laughs> Who said that sky from above? <laughs> we said the sky. There's just a below. guy in the room. Like, yeah, like criminals. You know, that's how that works. It's not much. But is that it's not a fucking ghost? Work. <laughs> Don't worry dead guy? about it. Man, this town's yeah, going to shit. Guy rolls over. <laughs> Stop discriminating. Just, just yeah. reaches, reaches up, just close the window. Just shut up. Go away. <laughs> hey, this is my... <laughs> Spectralists. Oh, my God. So, what did you smuggle in? Was it... Was it, it was a whole was it, man. It, it, yeah. It, he was uh, he was described as a public menace. Yeah. Or in other words, a revolutionist. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or like, like, an he kind of like stops for like everybody's like kind of walking along, and Talim just kind of like stops hovering, and like he stops like flicking the coin between his, between his fingers, and he's like, "You smuggled in <laughs> a revolutionist." Well, yeah. more like someone who kills a lot of tyrant guardsmen. Yeah. Yeah, that with bombs. He's a revolutionist. Yeah. The Elmas had us do it. Yeah. Then like, he, like, he flips the coin into his palm and he holds it with like the last two fingers in his hand. Um, And he takes his pointer finger and his thumb and he kind of like massages like the bridge of like his mask. And he's just like, <laughs> So you smuggled in. Yeah. Yeah. The revolutionist at the bidding of the Elmas. Yeah. That is known for bombing the Tyrants Guild. Yeah. Yes, I... <laughs> so we've advanced that far. Yeah. Yeah, but we did it in like a day. We did it in day. Psh. You've been gone for a, a few days, maybe. Yeah, like technically you were you have been gone from the time we went into the hole. Uh you've been gone for about one and a half weeks. Which means that according <clears throat> to this uh, list, right beetle point holds up the list of like how many days we have left until things need to start happening. Heart can't read, so he holds it up to Beetle to be like, there's <laughs> How many days left? <laughs> There's insert number of days left here. You don't know uh, to help clarify. It's been a month. All right, it's been a month and more since they remember some of the details. 
Uh, basically, um, you know you've been away for weeks. Basically, there was a bit of a time fuckery when you got out of the hole. So, Talim, you, you've been dead for like three weeks or so. But no, basically, you know, longer, you, you, you know you've been gone for it. You know the parade's <laughs> coming up pretty soon. Um, okay. For the time frame that you have, we keep it nebulous because if we start tracking this stuff, it gets very yeah. yeah. You know, it gets painful. Forgive us. Yeah. Forg yeah. Forgive us. It's just to help things along. We're a show. So basically, Don't as us. you Only support, get him, chant. Yeah. <laughs> stab, stab, stab. So <laughs> stab, stab, stab. Kith, kith, kith. So, uh, you you know you've been away for a while, uh, okay. a chunk of time, not years, but obviously, but you know, a good chunk of time to burn. A lot has developed since then. So like Talina's kind of like standing there, like massages like the, the 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 bridge of his nose, and he kind of like it looks up, and you will expect to take like a you know hear like a deep breath, and he just kind of looks up, and he he go and he like he dusts, you know he dusts himself off, and he looks back down, and he looks up, and he bites his lip, and he looks away, and then he opens his eyes, and he closes them, and looks down, no. I went into a meme format there for a he second. He sits down and he stands up, <laughs> but he down sits and back stand up right and down. Sit and stand and, and he had to do it to him. Yeah. And uh, you know, he looks back at the uh, at the the three of them, and he's just like, "So, you smuggled in a revolutionary. Hmm? You hmm. were chased down by the tyrant's guild. Are there haunted posters?" Ah. Uh... Heart turns mm. around to one of the one of the walls, and he, oh, Soren, you mentioned in the last episode mm -hmm. that there was indeed at least a wanted poster of Heart. Mm -hmm. Can I, as a narrative declaration, just have one right there by like one street down? Like we're walking and by and. <laughs> Oh, it just rips it off. Sure, oh, I'll take up. a narrative yeah. declaration for that. Absolutely. Nice. I will spend a hero point to do that then. Heart, <clears throat> heart rips one off the wall and goes, "Look, it's me." Okay, how and many he has the away same is face from uh, Heart being one of the Yonkai. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so as you're going down, and thanks to Heart's uh, narrative declaration. As you're going down, you'll occasionally see like some postings here and there. You do see right. the ones you've seen before. I would bring up the asset, but I keep forgetting to ask for the asset or so of the mm -hmm. lovely bounty board image that uh, Two Tail Stories made. But um, I can't seem to find it anymore. So there's that. There's that bounty board that you see of uh, the other, basically the other group. Where you see weird bird yeah. person, weird bucket helm. Where this group, with besides Utalim, well, no, that person is Baltic Weathers. Uh, there is a sort of elvish uh, lady and along a tree man and a very angry looking guy with goggles um, on these posters and you know, offered a good amount of money for them. And then ever so often you'll see some singular ones of you guys. Very low amount. We're talking like 10 gold just to bring them in. <laughs> you know, like not not something super major, but for heart for some reason. It's a lot it's a chunk higher. Uh, um it's a, it's a chunk so, higher of, of money. Uh but of course, you know, big money means more popularity, right? Yeah. Yeah. Big number. So it's wanted posters of Hart, who is the you know, currently has the highest price on his head. Beetle and Gray. Yeah, Beetle Gray and also you, <laughs> but it what? is like horribly mangled kind of where no one could quite get a good eye on you. So it just seems like it's just guy, <laughs> guy like just some robed guy with a money bag and like a little disgruntled face going. <laughs> <"Meh."> <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of crossed down going, I like the ming. <laughs> I can see the oh sound God. that you made. <laughs> it's it's, it's right. Wario. <laughs> <laughs> like a skinny robed Wario. I can't Holy believe crap. the Tyrant's Guild depicted me as Waligi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're profiling you. Oh, no. <laughs> Anyway, so like, uh, uh, Talim will like float over and uh, like float past Heart, like holding out the 
uh, the wanted poster, and he'll like look at them. It's like it's like all right, beetle, gray, and and he and like <laughs> Talim looks at it, and he and he like mage hands his own wanted poster off like off the wall, and he brings it close and he squints at it, and the rest of the party probably sees him. Like he's kind of like hunched over. He's like look and, it, and it, like head down. Oh yeah, like we don't know who that guy is. And he slowly turns <laughs> around and he's just like... Okay, I understand. <laughs> no, we didn't, we didn't replace you with whoever that is. We didn't replace you. We don't know who that guy is. We, we don't have anything to do with hoping that. that yeah, who is that happen. guy? I, <laughs> to leave just like, he lets go of it, lets it float to the ground. He's like, perhaps it's best not to worry about it. I'm yeah. sure it's... Nothing. <gasps> you missed your shield, buddy? I just remembered we got it on the wall for you at the Elba's. Dean will like look down at his uh at his at his his bare left arm and um Well look at Beetle's like I do miss its weight. But we can go get it back is, for you. How did you manage to take it with you? Uh, like it, it should be a part of myself. Well, it's, when you it's died, not anymore, yeah, yeah, it just became a normal shield. Huh. So I grabbed it and we took it with us. I, I don't really no. know why I grabbed it. The beat up feels to remember like, him. Duh. Yeah, looks at his hands. Looks up at Granny. <laughs> right. That. <laughs> <laughs> It's not because you're actually clever. Beetle just having a Vietnam flashback. <laughs> just <laughs> up in the background. As the eyes start to look in two different directions and the pupils grow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly that. I can hear the sound of the choppers. <laughs> His eyes finally look at the same point. <laughs> oh, they no. come together and look straight ahead for once in his life. <laughs> How terrifying. <laughs> you become a predator. <laughs> You're no longer a prey dun, dun, animal. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, oh my. Anyway, <laughs> when we when we get back, we'll get you your shield. We'll eat some delicious, delicious uh frogs and uh I, I guess we could see if they have any more work for us, otherwise we could get working on uh on the fair cart, baby. We could talk about thinking about the uh, the fair cart and kind of lay low for a bit. I think we should probably not show our faces for a hot minute. Leave Maybe. like motions back to the wall of wanted posters. Perhaps not. It's not much, yeah. but even a I mean, single least... gold can make someone desperate. At least I Wait. got my good side. That's nice. Did the poster send you a single? Wait, if they're only a couple gold, could we could we pay them off? Here's a here's Wait. a good question. Hey, chat. How much are each of the players' uh, bounties? Yeah, can we oh, pay no. there's, there's copper, silver, and gold for levels, by the way. So, you know, like, multiple golds is a lot, basically, for rock grind. Mm -hmm. Like, as much as we deal in it for balance reasons for Pathfinder 2nd Edition, which is like, oh, a thousand gold? Yeah, here you go. Here's your thing. Uh, Lore-wise, like, a gold's a lot for, like, just a single citizen. So, Four copper! <laughs> copper. So, so please if, take a guess as we continue on and uh, if, you, if you guys want a very basic thing if you have comfortable living 52 gold is one entire year of comfortable living that includes rent yeah so I have an out of character question what's up is, is this like jail IRL where if you go in you can pay off your your fee or whatever and then get out are, are you trying to red dead redemption me like <laughs> no that's how, that's how jail works in in I real can't life believe too froggy got a horse and then it got hit by no a that's how jail car. works in real that... life too they give you a certain amount of money. bail that's what's called bail they give you bail and then you can you can pay the bail and, and leave okay, jail so uh, <laughs> i understand your logic but that would only be like for a very specific thing you yeah, know, and bell bonds, bonds exist for if little, I remember, you're not out and about, you know, with a bail bond. <laughs> a bail bond is to bail you out of jail. And yeah. bail loans is so you can pay the bail and then be in, be in debt to the guy who got you out once you're out. 
yeah. <laughs> that's not because you're out first. You, you can't you can't pay to get out. I can't wait for Beetle to get a magical ankle monitor. <laughs> Hold on. So so we can't go into prison and pay them money and then leave. They'll lock us so, up. So, so that's if you did have a bail bond. It's up. the dark fantasy pirate secret police. Okay, so think of it this way. Think of it this way to help establish establish for our for our grim dark setting of Rock Ryan on Patreon.com forward slash uh Mary Declaration. It's not a uh, stupid question to ask so, how prison no, works no, in it's, this it's, game. It's it's okay, because I'm gonna explain things to you. So in the <laughs> In, in this type of uh, situation, I understand the logic of a bail bond, which, good fucking lord, um, you, if someone puts a bounty on you for this type of stuff, uh, yeah. they're trying to get you, is what they're saying. They, they even okay. though they have an entire military force and stuff, they're way too busy doing other stuff than yeah. to go around and find you for the most part, but since some people kind of came after you, uh, it might be a little different. So if they're willing to come find you and get you, you know, just wagging money normally would work. But if people want to find you, they want to obtain you to bring you where they want you, they don't want your money. <laughs> they, that's not what they're there. That's not what they're there. They'll take your money regardless. Once they get you, they'll just take all your money. Fucking get you. Yeah. And then they'll either, like, you know, they'll either torture you, interrogate you for information, like do all sorts of things, then just kill you and throw you off this giant gangplank concrete looking thing. You know, like, we don't need you anymore. Whoop in the oh hole. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. That's very so informative. They're you basically telling they people to, to find you, pay you, pay them for their service of a, of a, of a beetle finder, and then they'll <laughs> fuck you up. <laughs> okay. The setting is not a modern day democratic society I, setting. Uh, don't shame me. Don't shame <laughs> me. Uh, because I, because I failed to saying. ask this, I forgot we're playing a tabletop RPG and I just wanted to get you. Um, <laughs> roll, roll me society for Beetle. What the freaking heck? Roll me society First for Beetle. First of the new season. Yay. And it's about Yay! legal lore. <laughs> Let's go. Legal lore. Uh, you rolled That's a total of 18. 18. You understand 100% what I just told you. And maybe there's bell bonds. Okay. <laughs> you don't know what you are yet. Uh, Beetle doesn't say anything relevant to this conversation that we just had. <laughs> <laughs> Beetle keeps walking. Beetle does not say anything about bell bonds. <laughs> Beetle's just sitting there. It's just like, bell bonds. I just <laughs> payment, 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 just spaces bond. out for a quick moment, and then is back, but he doesn't pay, say pay, pay my bell bond, and then I get, and then the, once the bell bond is... <laughs> <Stop> <laughs> it. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't believe me. Uh, so, Talim, I, I have to ask. How does it feel to die? Twice. Wow. Yeah. How does it feel to die as, as a ghost? It's gotta be weird. Talim, like, uh, is normally he's jovial, he's sociable, he's, you know, like, approachable in a lot of ways. Like, he'll probably fix heart with, like, the coldest look that he's ever given that man. Oh. And, uh, it's just like, it hurts. Oh. It's a pain, not of the body is of your soul being torn from the existence that you currently dwell in is a pain that you cannot experience except through passing uh, uh, that's horrifying i still have to die once eventually oh we all gotta do beetle we all uh, gotta die uh, it doesn't you, have did, to hurt did you literally look at Talim with your eyes like cross left to right? And then he says all this, get like, it hurts this soul. <laughs> you know, it fucking sucks. And then you looked at him and went, righteous. <laughs> <laughs>
That's all I heard. <laughs> Grace, Grace just going to clap her hand on top of Beetle's head again. Just shut up. Stop talking. Get a lobster Cut. rubber band and put over Beetle's mouth. <laughs> she just like puts her whole paw over his snoot and just clamps it. <laughs> it's just like, oh my god. It's, so metal. <laughs> it's that husky meme, if you know about it, where a, a husky goes bah, 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 and then someone just <laughs> puts their hand on their mouth and they no longer speak. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna learn the silence spell just for Beetle. No! So you guys are continuing to walk forward. You know, yeah. to the city of outside. Is there anything else you wanted to ask to Liam as you're journeying back? It's going to take you a bit. So now is an opportune time to understand what Talim went through, or so you can just keep it to yourself. They don't need to know. It was, it was your life, wasn't it? Or no, was it? <laughs> squints, <laughs> <laughs> looks at audience. <laughs> so Gray's gonna Gray's gonna kind of like look over her shoulder as they're walking, just like. So one moment, you were helping us fight the blots, and then you were just here, beside us in a flash of lightning. What happened? Do you remember any of it? I remember uh, sand. I remember caravans. I remember. Being chased by raiders, finding myself amongst others of my profession, of working with them, living with them, uh, how it used to be. And then I remember a portal. I remember speaking with a caravan leader and him reminding me that there's still much work to be done and much more mm. coin to be earned, but not with them. And before you know, I am hurtling through the skies like a star stuck from the heavens. Do you remember <gasps> any of the people that you met there? Did you see Hollick's horses? Are they still alive, or did they go to the <laughs> sand tree? Oh yeah, we would we we would very much appreciate if you knew if they were there or not. That we could tell Hollick if the horses are dead in the sand yeah. dream or are still here. Yeah. Did you know that he killed so many people? Did you know Hollick is a mass murderer? Yeah. Did you know that? But he mainly killed Tyrant's guard members, so it's kind of cool. So it's kind of cool. Liam like so, kind of like like brings brings like a finger to like where, where his chin would be beneath like his veil, and uh, he kind of tilts his head to the side. He's like, I can't say I'm surprised. No, right? <laughs> the soul is leaving Gray's body because she's never gonna get any actual answers because <laughs> <laughs> the ADHD is so strong in this group. Making a shot color. Chat, no. Man, man. It, it, Cool uncle, or rather big brother, has come home from college, and the two younger brothers need to talk to him about the cool new game they're playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good logic. That's good logic. But of course, grandma is, you know, grandma. Yeah. And she doesn't understand these newfangled things. Exactly. Yeah. She doesn't know what a ba battle, battle reality is. <laughs> she doesn't know about Fortnite. I will say this. A ghost is not simply a soul torn from its body. A ghost is memories. The things that make you up beside your soul. They are the things that manifest into the world, but cannot be physically touched. And it's also known that many of those like me, we are persistent. We exist outside of time. We are tied to locations or ideas or things that keep us here. And so when we are inevitably dispersed, oftentimes those things will cause us to return. 
So oh. if I were to think about it, it is perhaps the life I led, perhaps things that could have happened, things that might have happened, reliving them to a certain extent and re-anchoring myself to where we are today. Hmm, well... As to what else may affect that, I do not know. I know that I have work here to do. But as to what that is, we will see how it all comes together. And whether together. or not in time the pieces will make the vision whole. Hart is having a stoner moment where he f f thinks about the concept that if I go to sleep, am I the same person as when I, when I wake up? <laughs> is is Talim actually just a painting of a man that he used to be? Shut the front. We're not ship of thieves <laughs> using this. That is, that is what Hart Manifest thinks. Manifest ghostly but he's... armchair takes puff of ghostly doobie and that's <laughs> deep. <laughs> Yeah, but Hart doesn't say these things. Hart just yeah. stares out like, oh. Oh. Uh, Beetle is Before my cells duplicate, am I listening. actually the same person? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Beetle. Oh, I was just saying that, like, Beetle's active listening. Like, he's nodding along, and he seems to genuinely be processing that. He doesn't ask about Holic's horse again. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are uh I assume at this point continuing on to Alma so yeah. I think uh mm -hmm. we'll we'll begin to move the scene and so towards that direction um as you're going through I need everyone to roll me a perception check if you don't mm -hmm. mind dude That's I love perception seat. checks I'm so good at those I'm so yeah. good at perception <laughs> checks yeah perception yippee. yippee yippee darn it no one rolled the one so you say you do group oh, checks to trigger complications. As uh, Adriel going through it, uh, Gray got a 20, to link got a 16, Hart got a 13, and then Beetle got a 22. As you all are walking through, though, uh, all of you see, I mean, Beetle and Gray, you'll notice a man uh, coming up through. You finally get into parts of the Ponds Palaster, where it's a little bit more populated. You're going by people, you know, some people give you guys some weird looks here and there. You know, you know, a band of misfits even. They're like, is that a ghost? <laughs> you know, they just keep ignoring them. <laughs> oh my uh, God. And as you guys are going through, you, you notice that there's a man with a very long wrapped up pole that he's kind of using kind of like as a staff. And as he's, and he kind of has like a hat, he has a hat on and everything. He seems to be smoking something and uh, just puffing out smoke that seems to kind of billow under the wide brim. The smoke keeps getting trapped before it kind of leaks out. And as it's kind of going by, he's just humming a song or so. And as he passes by Talim, nothing happens. As he passes by Hart, nothing happens. As he passes by Beetle, nothing happens. But as he goes to Gray, you notice that he'll kind of take the tip of his hat hat and tip it down towards you and uh and you can see past the smoke there's a smile and you just hear like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you see him just seem to just kind of walk by you or so and you're the only one who would recognize him gray immediately tenses and t takes every bit of her body to not whip around she physically tenses up and her tail is on end, her her mane is bristled, and she just lets out a low growl. Ready? Keep walking. Just keep walking. Huh? Beal go. is still on Hart's shoulder, so he grabs both sides of Hart's head and turns it forwards. He goes, keep walking. <laughs> okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. As you guys... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Gray would take one of Hart's hands and squeezes it. She oh. is shaking. Uh, 
she's super strong. Heart's hand gets crushed. It deflates. Um, <laughs> 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 um uh, he he holds it back uh, and looks down at her and steps like just a little bit step closer and uh, pu puts one arm around grandma. Let's go. As you guys leave, you head out back to Elma's. You go all the way th up through the pond's pilaster, up through a different different walkway, past a wooden stair here and there, up over a bit of ruin, down under a tunnel or two, and you're finding your way to Elma's. And we're going to take a little break real quick. Take a little break, a little stretch out, stretch the legs Woo! and everything else. And Go we potty. will be... Right back, everyone. Woo! 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 <laughs> and we are back. Yay! You we guys. Like poor... What about your poor? Yeah. My poor little bird man. So I went pee during the break and he heard me. So I came out of the bathroom and I heard him screaming upstairs in his summer home. Just screaming. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh. And so I went up the stairs. And the closer I got to him as I was going upstairs to see him, the louder and more frantic his screams got. And I went <laughs> up to his cage and then he was perfectly fine. He just waddled over for some snuggles and some pets. And then I, I left him there again and I came back down. <laughs> bird abuse. Bird abuse. Bird abuse. <laughs> Yeah, poor, just poor hears Kiwi. me somewhere else in the house. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> She's there! She's there! <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> Mom! <laughs> <laughs> He's a good boy. He's so sweet. No, I also, only peed. I didn't destroy the toilet. I'm not... I don't think I'm going to have a, lact a lactose reaction. I don't think I'm going to have one. If I was going to have one, I would have had it by now. Okay, so, and speaking of shitty situations, uh, you might want to, uh, heal yourselves all up to full at this point. Oh, yeah. You know, that for your journeys nice. thank, and thank getting you. your stuff ready, so oh, you should be in full health. But you guys have returned back, and finally, after a long, grueling day, have made your way back to Elma's. That's right. The sun That's has right. set. It is now dark outside, and you can see That's that the tavern, right. you know, uh, would have been busy, but it seems to be quite empty today. And through the windows and such, you can see Elma, you know, or, or yeah, you can see Thelma pretty much going through the bar, cleaning things in cups. You see Vina going here and there, you know, just cleaning up tables and stuff. And you see Hollick and Lorne kind of pass through the windows there. So they seem to be discussing things. What do you all do? Walk up, open up the door for Kaleem. The man deserves to have it, the door open for him. <laughs> yeah. You mean the door that he, he Your door, sir. Kaleem <laughs> just looks at hard. It's just like... It's like okay, okay. There's this thing called <laughs> manners that I've started to learn about since you were gone. I can't believe we're going to go in here. There's going to be a fight. Hart is going to close the door, lock it, and say manners make us men. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so Talim walks, so walks in, floats in, and like kind of like just looks around and uh, is you like see... waiting for the rest of them. You, you see as you walk in, Thelma uh, uh, like kind of like crash to the back. Vina stops and everything, and they look like they've seen a ghost. This is the part where um whoever is editing this short has to put in like the put them. All right. Oh I my need to do god. That for me. <laughs> Gray will follow in behind. She, she, whatever was getting her before, she looks like she's mostly gotten over it. Zorin, because of that joke, joke fucking die. <laughs> ah, I perish. <laughs> so you, you all come inside and you see Thelma looking around like, oh, good, you made it. How did, how did he get back? You know, and then Thelma will look over and point to Talim going, 
you know, all Heart. shocked and surprised. Is Heart, that? Point, Heart points at him. He's a wizard. <laughs> Salim will like um, he'll do like a, a side bow and he'll he'll look at Thelma. He's like, like Madam Thelma, like are you all right? You look like you've seen a ghost. Oh, uh, <sighs> that's my he'll bit. Scrunches up. <laughs> It's <laughs> my joke happen. now, Zorin. It's my joke now. If you made it out of gates. character, Talib's making it in character. <laughs> Grace is going to plop down on us. We are not the same. <laughs> where is uh, his shield? Did you have it from back from now? God. Oh, God, there's a lot. Okay, let's break this <laughs> down. So... Yeah. So Thelma obviously is is surprised you all are back and you're and you're in the ta- in the tavern. She quickly kind of like grabs some some of the good drinks and stuff uh, for everyone and uh, starts signing them out. She doesn't even charge you. Uh, Lauren comes over, kind of from his table, and goes like, "It's like ah, good. It's I'm glad to see the 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 ritual worked. Um, unfortunately though, uh, and Lauren looks nervous at Thelma." And Thelma looks angrily at you, Tolene, going like, like, you owe me, you owe me money for the roof you destroyed. <gasps> ah, yes, um, Tolene, you might want to sit down for this. Uh. Tolene looks at the rest of the party and is like, we owe the Ambas and Thelma's money? I do uh, now, I guess. It's uh, not that. You might want to take a seat here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what's your mention. joke to leave? I thought you were in the desert dream. <laughs> so, so Talim will like float over to uh, appear to sit on a bar stool. And he yeah, like float over. S- yeah, slowly folds his fingers together. He's like, so, and then like as he folds them together, like the knuckles crack. Uh, <laughs> like uh. it's not just like oh the knuckles crack. It's like the snapping of bone <laughs> with how uh. like Hardy is uh folding his fingers together, uh. and you can hear the 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 grin in his voice. It's like, so, what's this about? A debt? Well, um, Thelma, you, I mean, you're the one with the complaint. And you see Thelma will, will look to you to leave and go, After your, uh, little, little experiment, you decided to not just, you know, pop back the life and conveniently go back and help everybody. You decided to shoot through my roof. You were like a comet. The whole town's talking about it. Oh. You shot through into the sky and then you then you went somewheres. I assure you that I have been. Oh, <laughs> I assure you that the rumors of my death were not exaggerated. I have <laughs> not been in this realm for what seems to be several weeks. Yeah, no, you can't fool me. The wizard told me everything. All oh. right. You were in a crystal or something, (laughs) and then as soon as you were brought up about, apparently you were resurrected somehow, and your soul magically came back, you know, and then you exploded through the crystal and went straight through my roof. Everybody squints at Lorne. (laughs) Lorne's like, I didn't do anything. I just did. (laughs) He was like looking at Thelma, and then all of a sudden, like his head just like, like his body stands still and he does like the owl head turn of just like the yeah. the, (laughs) he looks at Lord he's like is that right look look (laughs) get a little coaxing to come back you know for the roof and now we're being charged for it look the entire purpose was to bring you you know in the room and then we get you You acclimated you know works you've got you're old. You could have gone outside to do this, Grandpa. What the heck? Listen here, you little. Listen here, you. <laughs> listen here, you little marmot. It's magic. No one knows how the fucking works. I'm a wizard. I don't have to explain shit. I thought. <laughs> I thought wizard was an earned title because you're smart. Listen here, yeah. you little gecko. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like, Gray just kind of looks over at Beetle's like, what does being old have to do with it? <laughs> Makes you smart. <laughs> No. Regardless, though, <laughs> regardless though, regardless though, there is the issue of the roof, and um, you did go through it, and I, I, I take part of the blame, and so I will be sharing a bit of the cost of repairs. Okay, thank you. But uh, oh, the total for a new roof here, and uh, he pulls his collar a bit, <laughs> looks at Thelma. <laughs> One thousand gold. Why? <sighs> Gotta get the inspection. The builders' guild's gonna have to come out of here. And inspection, it says things were put on fire. The firefighters' guild ought to get out of here, you know, and try to put out everything. And then there was water damage, and now there's water damage everywhere. And this what? is Sorry. your fault, Talim. What? Hey, Sora, in question. Yes. How, how many stories is, is is above this one? It's two stories. Yeah, it's, it's, no, it's that like, makes sense. It, it's two stories, so it's a lot of complications here. And she's yeah. looking looking around going like, Yeah, because it was above one of the resident places, and that means I'm going to be out of room money, and then no one's going to want to come here. I don't know why I've changed her name to be the Lavowski lady or whatever. I'm yeah, loving it. I'm, I'm, I'm sticking with it. I'm changing her shit. She's, this is her angry tone. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> and you're the reason I'm losing business. No one wants to sleep in a place where there's a fucking hole in it. <laughs> At this point, Kaleem is just, he is head down on the bar and his hands are just on top of his turban. And he's just like, <sighs> Kree's kind of like looking between the group, like how much money do we have like, together like, right now? Um, every, um, every time, like it looks like he's gonna sit up and he just like lifts his hands up off his turban, like he's gonna say something, and then he just like puts them back down on top of it, and like it's yeah. The man is at a loss for words. Uh, Beetle pulls out one old wet buck tooth and looks at it, and then pockets it, and starts digging for something else. <laughs> <laughs> Grey's like digging around in her coin purse. She's like, "How much do I have? How much do I have? How much do I have?" I don't. I don't think we have a thousand. Oh, goodbye. Uh, well, a thing that would help with the cost. I did ask you to get a recipe from Baldrick. How'd that go? You're obviously <gasps> here. We got that. We got that. Ah, uh, good. Sure let me see it. Uh, so Beetle will scurry over and hop onto the booby dip with the the uh the uh the stool. stool. That's what they're called. And he pulls out a rolled up sheet of paper, unrolls it, and inside is another rolled up sheet of paper. So he has enclosed Baldrick's scribbled out recipe in a signed wanted poster of Baldrick. And he hands over the recipe, which is a little bit smeared because he wrote it in I believe it was like a uh, chalk or charcoal, but hopefully it's still legible because it's been protected and rolled up in another she, uh, piece of paper. She looks down at it and you see her begin to read through it and she, you see she frowns. What the oh, fuck no. is this? Uh, what, that's, that's the recipe for Baltric. I, we were wanting a food recipe. Podrick has great food, food items. Oh, you didn't. What can want we to do with the to... looks at it? A moss bomb? Uh, maybe it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of slides it over, <laughs> slides it over the oh, yeah. vena. Let you, Holic figure it out. Yeah, you can give, give it to Holic, yeah. See, Vito so will very nervously grab at it with her little rat folk hand, like a little, little, little gripper. And kind of She's grab so onto cute. it and she'll pitter patter over to Holic and uh, and hand it to him. You go, oh, you know, from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> and um, 
Yeah. <laughs> Excited holic noises from the background. <laughs> <laughs> she she sighs. Uh, so, but I think you wanted to say something. Yeah. So, in addition, we've also got this uh this limited supply signed wanted poster signed by Baldrick's hand himself. Look, there's a little bit of blood on it. Oh yeah, N now uh, Talim actually gets to see who it was that we <laughs> that we smuggled into the city. Talim is busy staring at the countertop. <laughs> do you, do you wanna, how, how many gold pieces for this? Huh? It's limited. <laughs> While supplies last, it's the only one. Last one. Have you no, ever I seen have one? Have you ever seen your grandma be disappointed in you? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's great right now. <laughs> That's that's the look you're getting. Beetle cringes and sets the poster down and runs over here. Oh, like how many gold for that recipe? <laughs> as so you like go, his... as you go there, we'll come back to lean. What do you yeah, yeah, say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lean is like just face down on the counter. He's just it like it's just fucking distraught. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, he's just like, he's somebody like, kill me again. <laughs> if it's any consolation, I also know how to cook. And like, he just like raises one arm up or like raises one finger up as if, you know, trying to, you know, like uh, accentuate the point. But it is like, it's not even like a, a straight face, it's like kind of like half bent. Like there's, there's, there's no, there's no enthusiasm behind it. This yeah, man is I, deflated. <laughs> I know a ton of cooking, but at least we got you back, buddy. Hark says and <laughs> pats Talim on the back, but it goes through him. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I had just haunted an alleyway. You got resurrected to be in debt. Welcome to welcome to the life. <laughs> oh my god, it's fantasy American healthcare. Oh my god. No. So, as she's looking at you all going, "Well, the thing the least you can try to do is make up the money during the parade, which is in she looks at a watch that is not existent on her wrist <laughs> in 2 days." Kaleem sits up and he acts like, and he did, imaginarily flips the fucking bar. <laughs> he just puts his hands on his face. Here's the thing, adventurers. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like doing the voice. <laughs> the, the, the issue here is that you have to get the cart prep soon. That means you gotta get the cooking and the prepping and the things, and you gotta traverse all the way to Queens. Uh, Park squints his eyes a bit and strokes yeah. his shin and he begins to think about a way to fry things on on the spot and he's starting to think about maybe putting a vat of oil in a push cart and he just starts thinking about this in a court Gray just groans and pulls herself up. She looks like she's just lost an entire week's worth of sleep in the span of 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she looks at you all just to summarize to kind of move us through here that um, Thelma Perns describes to you that you need to think of how you're going to prep the cart. Um, Holic has prepared most of the cart by putting things together, cleaning out the cart and, and helping with the help of Lorne and some other people to modify it to be used as pretty much the food and accessory stand, whatever you want. But you've gathered a lot of stuff through the entire adventure. You've gathered things, knowledge, maybe there's some people that you know to help out, a whole bunch of stuff. You have, If you remember it all, you have it available to you. So the big question here is, what do you do with your card? And she kind of motions to the back and go, the card's ready about back for you. You can start prepping it now. You start prepping it for the journey ahead. There would be horses, but Hollick said they're missing. <sighs> so you have all the resources you gathered so far to, to prep the cut for the big parade. 
Kurt and Ant's going to be coming through, and I thought it was going to be a lot of money. William's arms are just limp by his sides, and he's leaned back so far that if gravity affected him, he would have fallen off. He would have fallen off the stool. He's just staring <laughs> at the ceiling. They're all just despondent. <laughs> he's just. Yeah. He's just like I. Sure. Yeah, we can start working on it. We'll Heart. find a way to keep all the ingredients fresh and cook them on the go and. Good. Oh, we also got this in. And she kind of takes out a, a bit of a letter. And uh, to you, Talim, roll me. Uh, Talim, and um, since Heart went away, uh, Talim and Great, roll me a perception check as he takes it out. Okay. That is a total of 23. I rolled at 15 for a total of uh, 22. Gold dust. Fancy lovely looking most immaculate piece of paper you've ever seen quality <laughs> screams at you with this piece of paper you would want to save this paper try to find a way to extract the ink I'm, I'm exaggerating but it's like really nice no, no, lettering no 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 keep talking keep talking keep talking you could sell that for money really lovely <clears throat> piece of paper little little uh, letter thing she kind of she, she gently kind of like cracks the seal opens it up and unfolds the piece of paper and um it's like in uh she reads it out she kind of glances at it and goes huh well apparently curtain Ann's looking through all the stalls on his way through and there'll be uh, an investigator going to each of the stalls when you park it over at the queen's and whoever wins gets an audience with uh, his holiness or whatever. <gasps> and there's a reward at the end. <gash> Great perks up. Her ears just go whoop. Whips up and oh, attempts to slam his hands on the desk or uh, the, the bar. <laughs> and, he's, and he's like looking at Thelma and he's looking down at the letter and looks back up at her and looks back down at the letter and looks back up at her and looks over at Lorne. And he squints at Lorne. And he looks over at Gray and is just like, <laughs> this is it. This is how we could do it. We just have to make sure that all the other cards are less than what we present. Are you thinking of just going all out on our card or trying to sabotage? I don't know what you're talking voice. That is sabotage. And I got Clean's really excited. eyes smile behind his uh -huh. visor. And he's just like, why not both? Uh, that's a lot of work. Are you sure you're up for it? Well, they don't call them the restless dead for nothing. Oh, it's good to have you back. <laughs> Heart picks up Beetle. And he, ca and he carries him back. <laughs> All while Beetle is in the middle of trying to yes. barter with Holic for... <laughs> yes. Uh, see you later, <laughs> Beetle. Be Goodbye. Yeah, he's, he's still talking at <laughs> Holic. To or with. It's not worth that much oh. gold, but oh, oh, we'll see you later, Beetle. <laughs> and, 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 you, and I've you still got this signed limited. Thing. I've got this limited edition. <laughs> what gives? <laughs> Don't you see where he's dead? <laughs> Horses were like my children. I'll kill Wait. you in your sleep. <laughs> we got things to do, Beetle. We have food yeah. to cook. <laughs> We're cooking? We need to cook, Beetle. So, ah! so. Gray, gray points to the letter. Winner of the cart rep, rep, representations, all that stuff. They get an audience with, with the guy, curtain end. <gasps> with the crystal man? Yes, the crystal man. <gasps> this is our opportunity to see him and get our, our gem curse lifted off of us. Oh. And maybe he could look at it. I, you know, I was gonna wait and bring this up maybe in private, but while we've got some, you know, seriously wicked spellcasters here, uh, has anyone else noticed the uh, snaky complexion in Talib's eyes? You know, at first, buddy, when I first noticed, I thought you first were off, like that was 
a ghostly not reaction? All merchants are serpents, Vito. No, all right. no, I'm I know not that it is. Robot. Uh, <laughs> Beetle falls onto his back on the floor and just shuts his eyes and waits for Talib to finish lecturing him. Because you're hard to the back of your head, you embed yourself into the floor. Talib <laughs> goes on a goes on a multi minute lecture for why you know merchants make the world go round, and uh, right. and, and, and and preaches at Beetle for the heart knobs. <laughs> heart knobs. Beetle, this. Beetle tries to get back up off the floor. <laughs> Am I embedded in the floor? Roll me a, <laughs> roll me a strength uh, or athletics check. <laughs> You're still on the floor with the nine. <laughs> that's a nine. So You're starting Beetle to get back to, up. Yeah, Beetle and starts that to sit is up why and he gets stuck. The world would not function without merchants, Beetle. <laughs> Beetle. <laughs> to, re <laughs> to, to represent this, you could ask Talim for a business to help you out of this situation. What situation? And Beetle turns over onto his side. He's got one hand on his hip. The other is holding his head up and he tries to look like he's intentionally <laughs> laying there on the floor, even though like his body is sideways, but his head is still pointed straight up because his <laughs> horns are in the floor. So he's trying to look comfortable, but he's just contorting. Anyway, what I was saying was that you don't have snake eyes. I meant there are these there's. Can somebody look at his eyes? Can somebody look at him? You see it too, don't you? Grail, Grail, like, get real nice and close to to Liam. Just her her snoot up at him. It, like, like, it looks like, like you've leans, got a skin condition, like, is what I'm saying. A little bit. It's like a uh, it, beetle. People don't have skin. On their eyes. <laughs> they have veins. Well, it looks I mean, like you no, have a, that's, a Okay, so corbords may have like a second eyelid, which is more <sighs> like a skin overlay. You know, but that is gray, gray is looking physiology. Gray, gray is looking to are... see to see if she can see what Beetle's talking about. My eyes are made out of the same thing as my skin. Mark, can you please pick me up? <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure, buddy. And he Look good. joins him up. Joinks him up of the floor. I understand that a lot of other things concern. But you might want to use that energy on the card instead. It's right up what back. What did Talib say? Yeah. Okay. Yes, He's ma dead. Oh, by the <laughs> way, you'll see that Thelma will go to the back of the bar, lift the shield that was mounted, come back to you, and she'll slide the shield back. And it looks the day you had it when you died. No ghostly visage on it, all that other stuff. It is looks as if it's in reality, no longer a ghostly sheen on it anymore. And she slides it back to you going, yeah, they brought this back. I think this is yours. Talim actually like, he turn, he like turns away from Gray and like kind of sides eyes for a second. He's like, why, why, why are you listening to Beetle? <laughs> <laughs> like and like looks down at the shield and like it, he goes to like drum his fingers on it but you know because he hasn't you know like reincorporated it it's still very much a solid thing and it's just like it's been quite a while since I have seen it like this longer than I can remember And uh, like, he just kind of like, uh, he's like, I may need a minute to, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, don't worry about yeah. it. I'll yeah. pick up the things. Yeah, we yeah. know. <laughs> yeah, we know. All right, let's go work on the cart. Okay. Yeah. And as they're like walking away, like Talib will like, uh, from focusing on the shield, like he'll look up at, uh, he'll look up at Thelma and he just like, kind of like somberly nods. He's just like, I'm sorry about the roof. Thank you for holding on to this. You'll figure it out. You always do. You came back from the uh, non-existence, didn't you? It seems I'm rather proficient at that. <laughs> hey, better than most of us. <laughs> Not sure if it's a, uh, a skill I should invest in. Uh, and like he'll just like, kind of like lean over and like uh, like lay his hands on the shield and and like over time it starts to it uh, will 
Yeah, it'll incorporate the, like, to yeah, you as yeah. you as you ghost bound to it. Yeah, basically ghost bound to it. I kill the shield and turn it into a ghost shield. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> make it dead again. Okay, yeah. so uh, you guys can make yourselves uh, to the back if you want, uh, and you'll see the cart there. It's pretty much Holic's cart. You know, Holic has modified it to be more to your means, but of course you can mess with it in any way, shape, or form. Now, the big question here is all the assets you have gained, all the things you have gone through, I hope you remember them and wrote them down somewhere of all the stuff that you gathered. It's now time to prep for the grand grand parade. You can think of multiple ways and how you want to prepare your cart, your business strategy with it, all sorts of things. So mm -hmm. if you were to prepare a cart to attract the masses and also to attract uh, Kurdnan, pretty much the head, uh, the head leader of the conservants uh, in the kingdom of Dern. How how would you go about it? What's what plan it out, fellas? How would you go for it? And this is an important detail uh, for uh, just for chat and listeners and stuff like that uh, for them to go through because it's going to heavily impact what's going to happen during the parade on how maybe people may come up with you, how they interpret you, what they buy from you, how you sell to them, all sorts of stuff. So all these details I need to know. So how do you guys want to go about it? Let's all drag Talim over just so you can yeah. get part of here for the camera. There you we, go. Oh no, we gotta my, make kebabs, right? I've broken right? the wall as well. No. Oh yeah. We kebabs. gotta, make, we, we gotta uh, be the kebab stand. Like, kebabs have, and like, hanging like dried sausages yeah, draped across yeah, yeah, the yeah. way yeah. yeah 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 we need we need to have shaved meat we have two people from quanshir we have an actual hunter who can state oh yeah i killed these things on my own i i hunted this with these guys and like she can entertain people with a grand by entertainment also known as that heartwarming vibe whenever someone comes around because you know that if there is a slightly older person shaving meat in a kebab uh, shack of some kind and hands that to you and go you know it's gonna be good yeah and, and if they wink at you and go i put extra on it for you boss then you know <laughs> that you are you, <laughs> you feel a certain feeling you know that you are special even though they might do this for everyone you are special uh beetle is smart and knowledgeable enough about uh like even though he's kobold centric, uh, he is the only local and he knows his uh, way around certain local stuff. So if anything, if we are to sabotage thing for everyone else later, he might know the way to do it. Um, but uh, I would say that in terms of food, we should 100% do the kebab cart. Uh, but one thing that Hart will bring up, I won't role play it out because uh, it might take way too long, but he will bring up that while he's carrying all of these things all of these boxes and whatever with our stored salted meat and whatever that we have brought out from the sewers uh that he asks them uh what wish they would ask for and he brings up the thing that talim brought up way back when uh, on the day that he sadly you know went away is that uh, he would um, he would evacuate the city? He would leave. He would leave outset uh, because it would solve so many problems for him. And Hart was really afraid, and he admits it that he is really afraid that if Talim would just leave, would he leave them behind? But if we can wish for anything. Maybe all of us can leave outset and not have to bother with all of these problems. Uh, but that's Hart. Hart carries shit. Hart is gonna be an oven man. He has fire resistance. He can handle any fryer or any grill. Uh, I will be the fry boy. That is my role. I can't believe that Hart is about to be the cook standing behind in the kitchen at any fast food joint that it just has his arms crossed. It's like, I dare you to come over that counter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he picks up fried root vegetables from the fryer with his bare hands. 
Oh my god. Uh, Beetle makes sure in that case that Hart is set up with the special spices from Holic, with the tasty mm. bits from Charles, <laughs> all that stuff. Uh, everything that they really got for the cart is food related. So while Beetle is watching them get to work with, you know, the, the crates and setting things up to make essentially a mobile kitchen, a food cart. You uh, say that, but... What? I have the recipe for a certain little thing. Oh! Uh, do you want to go Blood eye coffee. Oh, oh my oh. god. We can sell the best coffee in the town, in, in the oh. city. <laughs> That's great! While you guys are and, focusing and, and, on food. And if, and if we're going to be honest about it, I would love to style it in the way that a Turkish coffee is made. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. That's super cute. All right. So while, uh, while uh, Hart is taking care of like, you know, the, the food stuff and Beetle's doing whatever the heck he's doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't get to say what. Go ahead. No, go, 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 go. I was just going to say, while people are focusing on food stuff, Beetle's like, we need to decorate this cart somehow. We didn't really get stuff to decorate the cart. Is that where your head was going? Yeah, that's where I was going. <laughs> okay, so Beetle and Grave are both maybe just, are we standing there looking at the cart while yeah. the lads are getting stuff together? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 Grave's like, like rubbing her chin. She's like yeah. tilting her head. Yeah. Figuring out how to make it more homey. Beetle goes, oh, and uh, Beetle is going to run back around uh, and he's just going to look for. Oh, this is my mistake. I thought that uh, these leaves here were maybe planters on the outside. Do these leaves canonically exist in some capacity? Are they inside? You drew them. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the DM. <laughs> <laughs> so um uh, you, you remember uh from the description you know when you go to like the italian restaurants have those random yeah. like fake leaves hanging down yeah. and stuff uh that's kind of what they are but for a narrative declaration they could be something leaves are perfect i just wondered if they were inside or outside because wherever they are they're inside beetle helps them still okay beetle goes back inside climbs up and just starts like Stealing them, just taking handfuls of them doesn't matter roll, if they're fake. Doesn't thief. matter if roll they're me, real. Roll me stealth first off. Sure. Oh no. If you want to be sneaky about it, or very yeah. obvious. Yeah, I'll be very sneaky. That's a total of nineteen. One second. Okay. Woohoo! All right. Uh, you don't know what the bonus was. Um, uh. So, all right, you're doing that. Uh, oh what God. it? Go ahead and roll me a thievery. Oh, oh God. To steal him. Oh, oh God. That's a total of 16. All right. All right. Uh, so you're walking by. Okay. He's like, how's your approach coming back uh, past the bar? Uh, Beetle takes all the leaves and crams them into his mouth and down his shirt. <laughs> and then he, he he scurries so he ran past the bar climbed up there grabbed a bunch of leaves shoved them in his mouth and his shirt climbed down the bar and started running running to get back outside you hear as you're uh, running out the door you're like i'm adding that to your total <laughs> <laughs> He takes his crossbow and crossbow bolts and he hammers it. So there's a, there's three, so six in total right here on the side of the cart on the uh -huh. top. And then I would like to use my feet that lets me uh, put together things out of random objects. And I would like to make little pinwheels on top of the cart out of the leaves. So mm -hmm. I, I, I fasten them up on top of I'll, here, I'll take six uh, crossbow bolts out of my inventory. So he makes little pinwheels, and then Beetle climbs up over here, gets down on all fours, and starts batting his wings as hard as he can to try and turn all the pinwheels. 
while uh while while Beetle is doing that, um Roll me roll me a crafting check. Okay. Alright. <laughs> starts flapping his wings they all fall apart uh that is a total of 18. one of them is a tiny bit wonky but they all turn <gasps> yay oh nice. that's very cute oh yeah that's the stuff <laughs> his wings <laughs> so, so, so while being is doing that grace gonna go into the stable here and she's gonna look for some uh some uh uh clean hay like in the bales um, and she would like to start like bundling it up and like bending it into little designs and shapes. Okay. So she could stick it oh. and like decorate the uh the cart with it. Oh, that's cute. That's she's really watched her kids cute. do it, so she's gonna try and do it. Oh. Like like hay like hay wheels and hay dolls and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Hay dolls and stuff. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, cute. okay. Roll me a crafting check. Oh god, everyone help. This is just everyone help. I'm untrained. That's a total yeah. 19. That's great. They look beautiful. Yay! Oh Grace's gonna just start like putting them up and to complement the little grass, uh, the, sorry, the leaves and the pinwheels, and uh she'll she'll like hang like a little uh a rope of it across the way to hang some meat from later. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. So, from what I understand, Harp, you're basically going to be fry cook. Um, yes. You're going to be in the back trying to help out with all that stuff. Uh, you'll be making kebab, kebabs, it seems. And uh, in Talim, you're going to mostly be focusing on coffee or so. You have all the food that you got from the sewers. You do have some trinket little metal bits and bobs that you took from the blacksmith, if I remember. Um, mm -hmm. You have some of that stuff. Um, Okay, so Tleem's doing coffee. Beetle and Gray, you're better than much just decorating the car, right? Yeah. And use some of those little bits and bobs to like emphasize and like bring some like sparkle to the car because shiny things, people like shiny things. Oh, <gasps> they, they definitely yeah. do. We so... can make it so people hear us coming. What if we take some of those? I could ask the Elbas for some string. Maybe they've got some coarse, thick string. Maybe you could use the hay, do that cool thing you were doing with the hay and make some Aww. string and we could make some little chimes. Yeah, that sounds good. So, oh, as as they're debating back and forth, and uh, I guess Liam and Hart are talking about like, you know, uh, coffee and food and things like that. Yeah. Um, Liam will actually, uh, you know, like he uh, is going to, uh, Acts like he's uh, taps heart on the chest, but you know can't touch him. He's like, mm. "Well, if we're going to be selling traditional fare, mm. um, Hart, have you ever been to the market cities? The guild cities? No, never. What heard do about you them? Say, if we're going to sell what you could buy in the market cities, why don't we bring a little bit of the market cities to outset? Oh, <clears throat> are, are, are we gonna straight up, like, grab one of the carpets from the inside and make the, the tent on the front of it and everything? We don't have to make a, we don't, what is it? We don't have to make one, but we can style things a bit. And, um... Yeah, yeah, be the, the selling point is us. And, um... Because yeah, how yeah, many yeah. people from outside have ever been to Quanshir? Uh, not enough. Um, and so, like, Talim will actually step over to um, uh, to Gray, and I don't know where Beetle has run off to. Uh, was Beetle eaten by the cart? It's so sad. Can we get <gasps> oh, five gifts up and see? Oh my gosh, you can't see! Oh, he was on. Beetle was I eaten by the cart. It's so yeah, sad. Yeah, I had, I had no. it placed it on top chat. of the cart. <laughs> I, I had but, um, it placed on top of the... Oh, and I just moved him up? Okay, there he is. If, okay, yeah. If uh, <laughs> we're going to make ourselves stand out, yes, we could have a few, you know, like, hanging, you know, hanging, jingling bobbles. You, yeah. you know, anytime the wind blows, a nice soft tinkling to accompany your warm food and drink. Perhaps some bright colors, some stripes <sighs> on top to draw their attention to the cart. Things like that, you know, we could have some nice cloth hanging in the windows. 
Yeah. And I'm actually, I, I found a, uh, I found an image. I'm going to share it in like our, our Discord chat, oh. but because I was trying to find something to represent it, but for, uh, for the sake of, you know, um, just conveying my idea. I don't oh, know. Yeah. yeah. So, so, dis dis yeah. so disclaimer, so disclaimer, this, uh, we, we did not make this image or anything else like that, but this is for yeah. context of the show. Oh, that's very cute. Uh, it should be yeah. owned by this is this. I'll just kind of show it on screen for a temporary second. It's kind of like kind of ish like here. Let me, uh, do a little thing. A very, a very cute cart or so. Yeah. Uh, the, the sort of sort of something like that, you know. Um, yeah. so style it up with kind of like that little bit more, you know, like market flair. It w it would be bigger as well since yeah. it's from Holex yeah. cart. Yeah, a pretty pretty yeah. big cart. Yeah, but but make it welcoming and everything like that. Yeah. Uh, and like the and like everybody who is you know like uh blah, 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 what was I gonna say like those of us that you know crafty and stuff like that they could do like painting on it they could do the patterns on it they could you know um do everything like that and then like if you want to put like you know like oh here's like a tent or like a pavilion area like yeah you could do that as well and have that nice little uh like trim underneath with like the hanging like strings of baubles and yeah yeah basically you want to you want to you want to pretty it up even further yeah we cool. have turned this cart into a melting pot and it's lovely it's roll, really cute Talim, roll me a crafting check I will roll a crafting check. Uh, I wait. There it is. All right. Um, I found the. Oh, there we go. Crafting. I click on that. I roll. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> Natural twenty. Yeah. With a, as, uh, uh, go ahead and move your tokens points. around the cart. You know, as you're going around it and doing stuff. But go, go ahead. Go ahead. You're gonna say something. No, I, uh, Mrs. Okay. K brought me actually hot coffee. Oh, oh hello. thank you, Mrs. K. Oh, so nice. Thank you, Mrs. K. <laughs> so as, uh, as you guys are doing, so you're moving around the car, you're modifying yeah. it, you're working on it, you know, you're making mm -hmm. plans. What's your menu going to be? What's your, what's your strategy getting there? Maybe you might think about security. Think enough security. You see a fellow walking. That's why we have the line cook. By, <laughs> walking by in the alleyway. And you see a fellow gray begin to approach and you hear him loudly proclaim going, Oh, that's a wonderful looking cult you have there. And you see a character oh. that looks like this. Oh, I oh, love him. Feathers, I love him. Feathers adorn, very, very erratic looking individual. He kind of has this kind of like skull head over his head. You hear bells begin the jingle. He's very loud, very flamboyant. His cloak and his feathers on his head, which are attached to the skull kind of helmet thing, the cloth on it, it's kind of patchwork of different colors. The cloak itself, you know, even mixture of colors there, different array of explosive colors and wearing leather gloves as well. He comes up. And, and he goes like, and he comes to all of you, and you see him do an erratic bow, very erratic but elaborate. As he bows down very low and says, "Hello, Herr all of you. I just couldn't help but notice the beautiful piece of art that is right in front of me. I am Frederick Malzapan, and I would like to make my acquaintance to all of you." Uh, hi, Fred. Yeah, I'm just, and Beetle at this point is sitting on the flagstone and there are smears of, I don't know what, if you want me to roll thievery for this or anything, but he's uh -huh. going to take spices from the kitchen, like uh, cayenne pepper, chili powder and curry. And so he's mixed up red pigments, yellow pigments and these deep blue pigments uh, using like beet powder and, and, and all that stuff just you know powders that you can find in the kitchen he's mixed it with a bit of flour water and oil and that's how you could make spice paint at home if anyone's interested <laughs> why why yeah wow. and uh he he's got his sleeves rolled up there's paint all over his shirt and he's he's painting the, the wagon wheels and painting bright colors on their cart and stuff so he's just hey fred just a fucking mess of <laughs> color and spice all over the place Heart walks out with um with like shares or something since seated eating is the best eating. Oh. 
So Hart comes out with a stack of shares and sees this man and he goes, nice style, dude. And then he starts walking up and fastening said shares to the cart. I thank you very much. I wanted to ask if you are all in the realm of business. <laughs> and he kind of stands up straight proud of himself. Well, we're not selling our cart if that's what you're asking. Oh, no, 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 no. I have products I would like to present to you. Something oh. of a tasty food variety. So, huh? like, at the when, when business is mentioned and uh, uh, Talim, like, kind of uh, hovers over the, what is it, the, uh, the bar in, I forget what it's called, the, the bar in front of the cart. Like, hovers over it, like, uh, skirts around Beetle, and suddenly, you know, like, it hovers over, it's just like, a businessman, you say? Holds a, ho, 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 see, business has not kept your soul away. And you see, he will, he'll do a bow to you, saying, are you the reader, leader of this place? Are you the runner of this fine cart? And he kind of brandishes over to it. This is a venture between my associates and I, but I am also a uh, individual who is very much tied to this world by the spirit of business. Gray kind of cool. gives like the the sweetest grandma smile she can muster while she's on top of the cart fixing things, and she's like, "Hello," and then she kind of goes back to her her normal thing. Okay. She's just doing. As you uh. And John Hammond, like, excellent. I wanted to present a business opportunity. I suspect you're also going to the parade. But of course, there's money to be made. Why wouldn't we? Ah, yes, money is always to be made. And speaking of which, I would like to offer you a tasty treat item for your cart. You see, I unfortunately have other business ventures outside of Outset, and I figured I would sell my wares to someone more business savvy, let's say, who are also going by. Money is going elsewhere, but I would like to present these and you see he'll take out a sack and then they say it looks like they look like pebbles oh. like pebbles in little rocks pretty much like oh, it's slightly smaller than a golf ball he like looks at them and he kind of uh he kind of uh squints his eyes for a second um can i roll a crafting check to determine what they are uh absolutely roll me a crafting check yeah I love this skill. I get so much freaking use out of it. <laughs> I rolled a 10 for a total of a 23. You're looking at it, but you feel that crafting um, is going to give you so much of a thing. You have no fucking clue what these things are just from a crafting check in and of itself. Uh, you're looking at, but you think of these as he's in the way he has them presented to you and everything. It looks like food in some way. They're not rocks. Something's a bit off about them. They would like for anybody just passing by them on the road, they would look like rocks. But f for you with the roll of a 23, you can tell like, wait a minute. These are, not these, right aren't, about these aren't rocks and in, in, in you're not quite sure of them. Um, I'll give you a chance to do like a, a, a different check maybe, or somebody else wants to do another check. Um, ah. He, he ah. kind of comes over and he's like, well, you seem like these are my uh, confection of pop rocks. <gasps> pop rocks! Hart uh, points at them and go, you selling eggs? <laughs> what? Can I no. try one? Well, we have to sample the wear before we, before we put anything on our car. We have to sample it. Beetle runs over it, covered it, in paint. To, to can me, I, can hold, I... holds out a hand to Beetle and is like, first off, what is your price point for these pop rocks? Oh, well, just for well, a simple stock of them, I have a larger bag. Even route to definitely contain for the entire part of the parade. And for all of your adoring customers, uh, it would only be about ten gold for all of them. The very lovely commodity here, here in the city of Outset, especially here, and the Ponds Palasta. Hey, Soren. Great. 
Yes. Can I can I learn a little bit about the? Can I have some confectionery knowledge for a cooking lore skill? Absolutely, you can do cooking lore. If anybody else would like to investigate, uh, feel free to give me cooking lore. Nature uh, would also help out here. Yeah. Did he say that these are a popular confectionery at outset? That's what he said. Uh, Beetle, having lived here his whole life, can I do a check, like a society maybe, to see if that's true? Absolutely. Like, I got a total of 26 on my cooking. Holy board. smokes. Excellent. I got a total of 26 on my society check. Okay, would anybody else like to do a roll at all? or? Uh, okay. Green would kind of like to hop down and uh, join the group to try and get like a, a sniff at them maybe from like her distance so she's not like right up in his face but she's got yeah. a good snoot. Um, what would you like to roll? Uh, would that be a nature or a survival? Uh, what are you looking nature. for? Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Survival's more if you're like trying to salvage yeah. stuff and look for people. Nature's yeah. going to be what you want. All right, let me give you a little, a little sniff of snorf. That is a net 20 for a total of 27. Excellent. You see that he's very proudly showing up. Like, you see these lovely confections. He takes one, pops it in his mouth, and crunches. You know, he crunches into it. But you see as he picks it, it's slightly soft as it does so. Because a crunch, crunch, crunch. And it goes like, these pop rocks will definitely pop off your stand. <laughs> and he presents them gray. They're fucking uh, pick spider eggs. No! He's trying to vandalize our cart! He's a competitor! Ah! Those, those are Spider eggs, sir. Beetle, you will know no one's eaten this shit with your society <laughs> check. Yeah, I grew up here actually, and I've never seen Pop Rocks before. And, Spider eggs? <laughs> and hearts. Um, the Pop Rocks sort of thing are, really, for you, are kind of a form of this. You know, if you deep fry these, you mm -hmm. know, deep fry these and prep them in a certain way. Uh, yeah. They will not violently hatch and swarm everywhere because what mm. he just ate down on are a bunch of little tiny pig spider babies um, yeah. that he just ate whole. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you know, if you deep fry them in a way, it cooks them. It cooks them mm. all inside and everything else, and with the juices and everything inside of the egg itself, becomes a delectable treat. Uh, hey, for certain people, um, it's not popular because people are scared of these things. They don't want to eat them. But some people in, yeah. in here have found out how to do that. So with your cooking lore, you know they'd be turned into a delicacy in certain weird fucking circles here in outside. Yeah, for weird people. Hey, Soren, as someone who has actively eaten a pig spider on stream, uh -huh. uh, uh, remember that one, everyone. <laughs> uh, pig spiders. Do they even taste that great, Soren? Like, do they even They're not taste a that treat great? you want to go after, but there are dishes where there's a certain sauce people will put on pig spider legs mm. and all this other stuff. Um, yeah. People do eat them. Obviously, here in the ponds, but you eat yeah, whatever yeah. you can. So it, it, so it, is, it is something saying, people do eat. You're saying that if we cooked these properly and decorated them up, they could look like a delicacy. Yeah. For so rich it would be, people. They would be popular. Art picks one up, squints at it, and looks at this man and goes, I like your style, but I don't like gimmicks. And then he drops it back into his bag. Well, I mean, huh? And he points it over to the rest of them, hoping to win in votes. We would need, if anything, like we need to focus on these if we need to make them good. And then we only appeal to an extremely small market, right? Uh, like pig spider ain't that great. Uh, a note. Uh, actually, I'll tell you, I'll tell you later. Anyway, continue on. He kind of mentions over there, like, like, come now, I'm just at these all oh, intellectual treats. It'll, it'll do wonders for your cart, guaranteed. I've already sold a couple bags already to other carts. You wouldn't want to lose out to competition, do you? And it's no, not but even then unique. We, then we don't want to oversaturate the market. He said only a few, which is like a couple bags, and you know, yeah. there's a lot of people around. So, hmm. I think we've got a pretty solid theme over here, but they 
thank you so much for the offer. Unfortunately, I am not a sole businessman, and if my associates say no, then I must also follow suit. He looks at all of you and goes, <laughs> I thought I was in the space of business. <sighs> Fine, then. He kind of just closes up the bag and does the string around it and so. I'm like, very well then. I wish you luck, fellows, at the parade. You he too, kinda, Fred. He yeah, goes, come by our stand later. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be around, I'm afraid. But best of luck, friends. And he will Bye, Fred! step away. <laughs> and he will walk away. When he Don't. is when he is far enough away, Hart turns around <laughs> and goes, That felt like a sabotage. That guy yeah. was totally trying to sabotage our cart. I can't help but feel that we dodged a bullet. Woo! Talim like looks around and is like, too bad he was terrible at it. <laughs> it's a pretty good idea though. How are we gonna sabotage other people's cards? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds oh, yeah, like a problem after we, we already, finish this. We already okay. got good enough on this. Uh, and Hart points at the cool card, like if this is way later when they have actually done things to it. Um we seem to have a pretty good thing going on. Yeah. So I how wonder, can we ruin everyone else? Maybe Talim could mix up some kind of stink elixir and then I could just, you know, I'm very small. I'm, you know, I'm tall for a kobold, but I'm, I'm also small because I'm a kobold, but I'm tall for, for a kobold. I just want to we say. We could do uh, very subtle things that could uh, interrupt their workflow. We could steal yeah. tools. We could yeah. take, make ingredients go missing. We could, we could swap ingredients. bombs underneath their carts so their carts I smell bad. Allow me to present a bit of our chemical assistance to the equation. Yeah. Yeah. How do you get a cart to a parade? Uh, How do you? How do you horses. get a cart to a parade? We don't have horses. We have heart. But if yeah. they don't have horses, do they have hearts? What if we decorate Eric. heart? No. No, I, no, no. Not quite where I was going. But <laughs> Gray is very much on the money with that one. But I will also say that a little bit of acid to an axle goes a long <gasps> way. Bro. The alchemical equivalent of cutting the fucking brake lines. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Or a pop and tires. <laughs> yes, the wagon wheels. Pop the wagon wheels. <laughs> we are you know, this, we are such good guys. This is making me think maybe one of us should sleep outside with the wagon, with our wagon to protect it. Talim doesn't sleep. <gasps> Perfect. Talim can watch the wagon. We can sleep in the hay. If Talim sees anything, Talim can wake us up, and we'll just guard our wagon. Hey, welcome back, Talim. I know you got resurrected and all. We miss you. Get the fucking work, ghost man. <laughs> Uh, oh resurrected wait, no, that, into no, death. No, oh no. Oh. <laughs> Just the, 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 the groans of the restless dead. <laughs> ah, so you've worked retail, I understand. Yeah. My weary soul. <laughs> so, uh, a detail I, I, I didn't uh, mention before to heart uh, with mm. your cooking roll that uh, you know that if you did take the spiders or so, and you did prepare them well, they would have, it would have been a outstanding treat to have. But if you fail yeah. to cook them correctly, uh, the eggs would burst inside people's bellies and kill them. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, oh my buddy. God. Too much work. Too much work. We dodged a bullet. <laughs> Oh my god! So, as you uh, and you just saw the guy just raw eat him. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. with that, uh, what else would you like to do 
uh, with your cart. Anything else? Or is that it? Is that all all you have an idea mm -hmm. for? Maybe there's a presentation you kind of want with it. Maybe how do you get people to come buy stuff from your cart? Well, we're going to have to have someone be the, the shouter, the call out. Looks at Beetle. <laughs> Beetle. <laughs> or Talim, because both of them are pretty good at bringing in people. Yeah, mm. Beetle takes paper and makes two cones for them to shout into. <laughs> Heads one of the cone papers to Talim, it falls through him. Talim disappears. <laughs> Talim comes back with a wand of bullhorn and gives it to <laughs> Beetle. <laughs> Oh God, is there anything else we can think of that we need? Well, we're not going to need any. We've got the visuals. We've got the scents the because the food is going to smell really good. Yeah. We've got, we've got the food. Smart Art's going to pull you, the wagon. Smart on you for using spices in the collar as well. Then our car smells even better. Yeah. Thank you. What well, about I didn't music? have any paint. <laughs> what about music? Are any of you musically inclined? Yeah. Uh, I'm musically challenged. I can play music. Well, you're going to be on the line cooking, so... True that. True that. Uh... Hmm. 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 Heart Who snaps do... his fingers Who do and you know? looks at, at... Heart snaps his fingers and looks over at Talim. What if... What if, what if we do performative cooking? Do we know anyone who can do musical things? I can't uh, remember. Uh, 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 hey, Beetle, know who, are any of your family musically inclined? Uh, Google Doc all <laughs> of Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, let me okay, think uh, about that <laughs> no i was actually i was going through my spells and i was just like wait a second i've got uh, cantrips and stuff like that and it's like oh uh, okay ghost sound cannot make um can't make music you can only make uh, wait songs. wait yeah, so. wait i have an idea great just like claps her paws together talim could you mm -hmm. make little funny little he who uh, images with your magic, little 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 sparklers with your magic, yeah. just to entertain children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. like performative cooking. While you're making the coffee, you make magic. Ooh. And while I am frying things and cutting the meat, I do it with my bare hands. Yeah. And I don't have anyone in my giant family who knows music. That That's was an oversight. On somebody's <laughs> part. Heart, heart snaps his fingers like, yeah, 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 yeah. We should get Holic to do fireworks. <gasps> but then we have That's to split the idea. pay with Holic. <gasps> Holic can pay for that recipe by doing fireworks for us. Wait, Holic is really wanted. Wait, we're all really wanted. Yeah. We you know should. who we should get? At, you know who we really should get on this? Oh. There's hmm. one single individual that I would actually, honestly, just take my entire prey and give. Who? We should get Brog on security. Oh. oh. Do you think yeah, he would be down for with it? Brog? When was the last time we saw Bro? And then Heart freezes and stares off in the distance. <laughs> as, as he just remembers a crying visage of a dwarven man. In the in the weird time anomaly dungeon, uh, <laughs> Greg kind of also just stops like, oh, uh, I hope he's okay. Do we know where Brook lives? Didn't Brook say the general region? I guess yeah. it would. We couldn't just walk around town and look for him, but maybe we could ask, or we could. Uh, he's one of Croc's people. You kind of, you have an idea to... you'll find Brug near Croxton. Yeah, we yeah. could go so to Croxton. So you might be able to look around for him, ask around. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I would, I would like that. He gets some money. He can, he can, <clears throat> he can, 
he can put it towards his daughter and all of that. Yeah. That could be nice. We should make some kind of disguises for ourselves also. Oh. So we don't I... look like the wanted posters. We're famous. Uh, not in a good way. We might be arrested before we could go see Curdenand. But if Curdenand wants to see us, he gets to see us, though. Um, but if we're arrested before that, it doesn't matter. Yeah. What if we're just that good? No. <laughs> Disguises, right. Costumes. Well. Costumes! I love costumes! <laughs> we could all dress up with turbans like Talib and then we could look like the cart, you know? Some fun cultural appropriation. <laughs> there stares at me like what the no. fuck? <laughs> no! It's nice running raccoons, everyone. Yes, I saw it, y'all. We can all look like we're quad sheer, and our and our card is quad sheer, and no, we're all cool. No, like sharing culture is super nice. Yeah. If any, yeah. No, I, I can fetch you a line a loin cloth. Don't worry about it. A uh, what? Yeah, one of these, and he points down in his long cloth. <laughs> oh. Do they have any nice dresses? I mean... Hard, the, hard nods, they sure in, do. In the guild cities, they have many nice dresses. Grey just kind of like pokes her, her well. fingers together. She's just like, oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, we, <laughs> can, we can hide our faces the way that, uh, Helene does. The, the trade cities have, like, Veils as the usual clothing, right? Uh, they are often accompanied by those who are members of guilds. So if we dress up as guild members, I, uh, I, we are not in the guild city, so it's not a crime. <laughs> we should probably be careful treading that line. Someone just puts on a single, like, guild assembly and someone is alerted on the other side of the world. <laughs> An assassination contract is written automatically. Knowing, knowing how fucked up I would do it, I would probably just put the guild on the other side of you. And they look no! over at you. Oh <laughs> I go at you going, like, what the oh fuck? My God. <laughs> like, hey, wait a minute. Who dresses us? They don't got the uniform right, though. That was bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not accidentally tread on lines that shouldn't be tread. I mean, I mean what you do you think? Where, like, because we are, you know, like, what is it? I, I, I'm, I'm. I'm from Quanshir. It yeah. is technically from Quanshir. Um, yeah. Uh, our qua our cart is very, you know, like we are sh sharing uh, traditional food, traditional fare, drinks. Um, it's not unreasonable for those working the cart to also match it as well. Yeah. Uh, hesitate from any guild-like badges, and like he like taps to the um. Like the uh, what is it? The uh, the plates that he often wear that he has on the uh, the sides of his head mm. that like dangle from his turban, and the one that he keeps at the the top of his sash. He's like, perhaps no badges, but the common dress, you know, the common accoutrements. Mm. I think that would be fine. Yeah, if you say so, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. All right. So we'll want to hurry out and maybe uh, I don't know that they'll purchase or sell those kinds of clothes directly, but we can we can put something together, especially if Talib, you're willing to help guide us into doing it appropriately. I can try my best. You know, my sewing hand is not what it used to be. Um, but <laughs> I can so give direction. To help for this, I'll, we can, uh, you can definitely list down on uh, different bits of clothing so to disguise right. yourselves a little bit better, so... You know, any bounty hunters or whatever won't notice you. Yeah. So you have that. I, of course, the question then comes, I assume you want to get Brug for security, so be sure to write that down too. Um, yeah. uh, you did not go with the traders thing. Uh, is there anything else you want to try? Any confections at all? Any other drinks or people to drink? 
any other ideas on that front? What, Did you what do you think? People to drink? Oh, I oh. It's like things I, for people to drink. Okay, I thought you said people to drink. One tea. question. Like, One single tea. question. Yeah, tea. Uh, but I have a str straight up question. Cab. Yeah. Yeah. Does Talim have a single ice spell? I, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, I would Actually, go like. Hold on, let me check. I think. Do you, I do you have, have a cantrip? Do you have a cantrip? Are, are, you make some crunchy I, I, ice. I don't know. I have to check. I've got. No, but. Yeah. Um, there is actually a cantrip that uh, I was going to ask Thorin if I would be able to run out and and and, and purchase the, the the purchase the spell for, which is. Musical accompaniment. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, find somebody who's willing to sell uh, the formula for a cantrip. So, Does that could be we'll uh, that could add, add it spell. into the preparation thing. But we'll, we'll yeah. figure that out with you being in yeah. Vegas and stuff and certain spell casting learning. So, yeah. we'll uh, we'll get you figured out there. Magic is the solution. <laughs> Uh, did we want to though, exactly? <laughs> did we want to approach Holic about anything, or do we not want to split money with him? I... Tea. We need we need drinks. Yeah. You need tea. Remember, Holic's really good Other tea. Drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Gray. Uh... <laughs> Gray has a flashback and he like just sits down. <laughs> I was also for a second I was you know, going to be like, oh yeah, I know we could go and like we could hit Holic up for you know like maybe he could make something you know that really smells nice. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> he has oh, yeah. no nose. <laughs> hey, it's okay. The cardinals smell good because there's cooking food. Yeah, that's true. Right. Before we we just start selling boba. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, and, and I see if if uh, if like if Talim just goes to Diamond Hands to get like you know the clothing and whatever as well, then we just grab us a cantrip wand of a single ice spell, and now we can make iced coffee as well. Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Talim, we have coffee. Yeah. Talim does the funny uh, Turkish ice cream bit. I forgot about the coffee entirely. <laughs> Just I'm... like mage handing the the cone into people's hands and then mage handing it away. It's like, oh, yeah, you, ha oh, you have two cups. the cone. Oh, yeah, you have two cones <laughs> stacked and you go, oh, 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 there was Gorsh. an empty cone. There, there was one inside of it. Well, then, then I somebody think eventually I... punts Beetle and takes the cone. What? What? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> that's okay. our. That's our card. Enough of this shit. Yeah. Okay. So you have that. Okay. So, mm. as far as I can tell, here, are you confident that's all you want? Uh, I, uh, I hate when you word it like that. I hate when you <laughs> say it like that. Yeah. Because we have to do it on stream because what you say okay. here, you know, it's just like, I could help along, but this is your guy's adventure. This is your guy's thing. <laughs> There's you keep making it worse! I could, I I could help along, but I'd rather watch you fucking struggle. No. <laughs> the on, the yeah. only other thing that I would like to do is to add just a tent in case the elements fuck us over. I thought that's mm. what we were going to do. We were going to have like yeah, yeah. the um, uh, little uh, pavilion style. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the yeah, front. with the chairs that come yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. In that case, no, I think we're done. I think yeah. that uh, I, I don't care about what Soren says. I think we're done. Yeah. Synopsis. We have security. We have a sexy cart. Our cart makes noise. Our cart has... Oh, wait, I already said sexy. It's got a bunch of stuff on it. It's uh, sexy again. Yeah, it's, it's sexy Double again. Sexy. We've got a seating area. We've got uh -huh. cover for the seating area. We got cover for the cart. We got a heart instead of horses. We, we got food. delicious food. We got delicious we got, we got coffee drink. and tea and, and coffee with ice. 
what else could we be missing? I don't think we're missing anything. I mean, even with the ice, like if somebody's just like, I want water, just give them ice, it'll melt. Okay, them. I wanna... <laughs> let them chew ice, let them suck ice. Uh, if you want the only like details for cooking vessels and whatever, uh, Talim would need a vat with sand in it, and it just heats up the sand for Turkish coffee. And then um, everything that Hart needs is one big vat of oil, uh, and he needs utensils. He... Other than that, yeah. okay, uh, so whatever. So your gear. To, to help basically. with this, to help with this, I'm going now going to ask uh, each person. So Gray is Gray confident they uh, after everything they've done so far that there's nothing else to add. Mm. She has no scope of reference, so she thinks they're she thinks they're fine because she honestly has no clue. Okay. Tell um. Me. Can I actually roll a society check to see if there is anything that our cart would be missing that would be more commonplace? You mean for cooking? Of the, quant of the quantier markets? I, 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 I okay. guess. I don't know. Uh, go ahead and roll me society. It's something that your nature, you've set up carts and had to deal with them and stuff before. Right. You know, so go ahead and uh, roll me society to see what you've I'm learned. I'm trying to be creative with my rolls. <laughs> that is a 16 for a total of a 27. Security is a big thing. Hmm. You know, even though even though you got brug and stuff for the stuff, you know, what can you do to secure your stuff and transport it inside of the cart? How can you preserve the food on the way there and stuff? The, it was actually one of the things I was looking at was also there is another cantrip um, on top of musical company that's called Frost's Touch, which does keep things cool. Cool. Um, okay, I'm gonna write that down. Uh, there's that, and, and of course, um, you know, the thing we're going with, the thing we're going is for food. Sorry, I got, like, things kind of sprouted here in my desk. Okay, so got you, uh, Beetle. Anything else? Uh, as a grower of outset, as a, as a child of outset, uh, have I, have there been other parades that I could have been to? Do I have a point of reference? Roll me a society check. Oh, I saw that, that is, one. <laughs> I know, that's a total of 31. I rolled a 19. Yeah. For this. Um, you, 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 you are confident you got a lot of the bases covered, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but a thing that you might uh, have noticed is that one edge that you're not currently bringing in is potions things that could help people be, have a good time. There are, you do have drinks like coffee and stuff, uh, but potions to kind of help people or maybe a trickery way of potions, maybe conjuring up something custom to make them more applicable to your brand or your thing. Like maybe a potion that makes them feel like really refreshed, but they get thirsty real quick to do yourself, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. Um, you know, potions are uh, any so bit of trickery to do that. Uh, so what you're saying is that missing. we're not fronting a drug dealing operation, and that's bad. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're not a lot of, family yeah. friendly. Oh. The one Are, time we try to be family friendly, you, it's like, you, yeah, you, you understand is, uh, that the market. It's too rated e. The markets here, especially in the in the Queen's Plaza, uh, I imagine Beetle hasn't been able to afford to go there. But you know the the Queen's Plaza is where a lot of thing like a lot of scheming a lot of taking advantage of things getting any advantage that they can happens for a lot of market stuff over there so it's uh well, this you can play it safe or you try to think of something that might push you over the edge yeah so thinking on that as beetle is giving the final review of the cart with everyone else uh he goes well, you know we're 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 not pitching strange and potentially illicit pharmaceuticals but Tea is one of our brands, and Beetle remembers the variety of experiences that were had on Holix tea specifically. And Beetle thinks that the next best thing, and to, the, it'll still keep their car, you know, their their target demographic can include youngins as well as oldins. So uh, Beetle Beetle will suggest, why don't we see if Holic can whip up like a giant pot? of that tea and we'll bring it with us 
since, oh. since the experiences that are had on that tea are so different, and I remember it made me feel really good. Hey, Cab, one quick question. Yes. Can you can you read what uh, <clears throat> what the coffee that you specified that you have does? Mean blood eye coffee, a strong yeah, can... blend including several spices, um, is a favorite morning drink uh, across across the region. A maximum addiction stage of blood eye coffee it never progresses beyond stage one. Stage one, a plus one bonus to AC to saves when you are taking uh, penalties caused by the fatigue condition. Like, yeah, it, te it technically is an alchemical consumable drug. It is a drug. Consuming. It's a yeah. drug. You, you get addicted to it. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so we, that'll we be Beetle's neglected. last suggestion well, is I getting mean, the one, property. One yeah. drink that is very obvious. Mm. And that's alcohol. True. Oh, yeah. But everybody's going to have that. And we don't have any special kind of booze. Yeah, Unless you're right. What if we got some heavy? I'm not an alcoholic, but I know that Bailey's goes in coffee and I'm trying to think of what Bailey's is. <laughs> what is Bailey's? <laughs> is Bailey's whiskey? What is Bailey's? Bailey's. I like how I'm just like looking at Cream. looking at your model. And I can just see your <laughs> eyes darting around as you try. It's whiskey. Think. It's whiskey and cream. Okay. Right. It's whiskey and cream. It's okay. a cream liqueur. Cream liqueur. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Beetle, who does know about alcohol, Ooh. will suggest this to Coffee Man. Will suggest maybe like a cream liqueur so we could have that as an option as well. We've got iced coffee. We got cream liqueur coffee. We got the, the default coffee. We also, is it also, in case, just to make sure that none of us have forgotten, we are representing the Ermas and the Termas, and I'm <laughs> sure that they have some sort of beverage that they may be able to create or may like to sell there as well to make a profit. Oh, like their specialty. That's true. Mm. They might have something they want us to put on the cart. It's worth a shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No frog sandwiches. Get out. Oh, frog <laughs> sandwiches. <laughs> That's what we do with the people who try to like be awful in customer service. It's just like, oh, you have a problem. You need to talk to the manager. Here, come right back here. We'll talk to you. Frog. 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 <laughs> Frog. Frog. Okay. Well, I th yeah, I'm I going. That's, I th that's all I okay. can think of. Okay. Um, and Hart uh, is Hart confident on everything. Oh yeah, big time. But he's <laughs> but he's always confident. Okay. Except if you ask him, and he has to be honest. Okay. So I'm going to write this down. I understand that the, uh, you know, I'm making you go through a lot of mental leaps and prepping your car for the thing. I have to bring this in because you're competing against mm -hmm. others in this parade. So I have to yeah. basically see what you are bringing versus what they are bringing and uh, go in through that way. So for next session, what I would appreciate you guys to do, be sure to write everything down and plan mm -hmm. out how you're going to sell things, present them and all that other stuff and everything else. And that is where we're going to end it today. Yay! Yeah. We're never going to be able to meet Curtinan, are we? <laughs> We're getting arrested. <laughs> You're getting arrested. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. They don't Swords. know what he looks like. Oh, right. yeah, they don't know what he looks like. like. A horrible wanted poster. <laughs> right. The theoretically, theoretically, if we get second place and then Beetle pulls out a gun and shoots the first <laughs> place. <laughs> and like where, and, where and, the first place and the second and the second place I mean, new first place winners. <laughs> exactly. And, and if Ferdinand is right right there when he announces that, and the Tyrant's Guild is like 50 feet away, do we have 50 feet away in travel time? Amount of time to get our wish in? <laughs> oh my god. It was just an audience. I didn't know if there was anything but a wish.
and, and you, you just turn towards Kernan and scream political immunity. <laughs> 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 ah, we're so with doomed. That, so with uh, that, everyone, I hope you all had a lovely time. Sorry, I've been writing down a bunch of stuff <laughs> during the thing because as they've been talking, I've been having to be like, okay, okay, it's going to be that because I got a lot to prep. For yeah, the big to all bring the rest do. of the party out of prison. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> so you have to find Brog. You're preparing all this stuff. You uh, Brog's for security. Um, yeah. You wanted to get a tent for things. There's a whole bunch of stuff you guys basically have here, and uh, I have a bunch of map making to do and everything else. Oh, I just had a great idea, oh, no. but we're still on stream, so I can still pitch ideas, right? Uh huh. Yeah, sure. No, no new ideas off stream. So you know how all of Beetle's sisters like match and are carbon copies of each other? Can we? Can I try and get Beetle's family to come and like? Oh, I mean, whoa, whoa, We're not turning like, into like, a kobold maid cafe. Stop no, it. no, no. Yeah, kobold maid cafe. Oh, Literally, kobold maid cafe. Like you know <laughs> when you're in Breath, of, when you're playing Breath of the Wild and you go into the Gerudo city and there are the the ladies outside of the shops who are like, hey. Clapping and like pulling people over, and they're all like enthusiastic and excited. They're like, "Ah, oh, stuff in here! Oh, watermelons! Like, uh, you know, can we please? Can I?" Please no, get... because because those are huge ladies, and these are little lizard creatures. Uh, but we can put them up on boxes, or, or or have them like dance around on top of the cart. I'm vetoing this idea. <laughs> Damn it! So okay. with that, thank you, chat, so much for watching. We greatly appreciate it. We'll see what happens with their cart to the parade. Will they meet Curtinand? Will they finally will they finally be able to get the reward to get out of debt? Will the goons finally get a step up in life after so much garbage has happened to them? Bounties no. and everything on their head. This is what they've been getting up for, and we'll see what happens. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. So I long stayed dead. and farewell. Bye. <laughs> I think the bye. audience wants a maid cafe. Bye bye. Cafe. You, they want it. They look really excited. Coming back.